Uh, on the phone, we got Psycho Mark Anthony. He's outside the Letterman studio. Big night for Letterman. Yes, uh, the he's got Nigga Jolly on. <laughs> oh, no, he's got Hillary Clinton. The carpet uh, muncher. Uh, carpet bagger, sorry. Oh, sorry. Wow. I, sorry. Jesus. Sorry, sorry about that. Mm. Um, so he's out there with a megaphone. We're seeing if he could stir up some trouble today. Psycho Mark, very good at uh, stirring up trouble, Anthony. Yes, he is. So let's see what's going on out there. Hey, Psycho Mark. Hey, carbon watches. Hey, hold on a sec. I got a bunch of uh, people here that uh, look like all Hillary fans. Hey, how many people are Hillary fans of Hillary? I am. Uh, that's it. Just one. We got one Hillary fan. Listen, I heard that Monica's around the corner. Monica's around the corner? Selling bags. Monica's selling bags around the corner. We just found out. And, uh, yeah, that's what she does now. She uh, sells bags. She's had uh, so many across her nose. She knows uh, a lot about bags. She knows bags. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the scene out there, Psycho Mark? All right, well, they've got the street all blocked off. They've got Secret Service agents crawling everywhere. Not your they've secret. Got, like, no, not at all. They've got them on buildings. There's a guy up on a building up on the left. There's a guy up in the building on the right, and they are not letting anybody stop right here. It's like a, a total uh, cordoned off area. Who asked the Secret Service? Where was he what, at the Book Suppository building? <laughs> yeah, that'll, <laughs> that, that'll get your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Mark's, Mark's got a couple hundred people around him, and we're trying to figure out something uh, cool they could all chant. I don't know. People, they, they kind of seem sort of stupefied here today. They're going to like, go, look at That's the nerve gas that the Secret Service let out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one for conspiracy theory. But I know they do that. Conform. If any of Conform. our listeners have an Conform. idea, give us a call. Conform. Get, yeah. rid, get, a, get, get rid of all the stripper phone calls. Keep the <laughs> nigga Charlie calls and uh, <laughs> see if anyone comes up with a chant for uh, Psycho Mark. I'm on, on the phone here, okay? Something about uh, our first lady, Hillary Clinton. How close is the Hillary Secret Hillary Service from you? Rotham. They are standing right in front of me. There's about, I'd say, about 15 agents all surrounding the block. They're not letting anybody walk in front of. Uh, Why don't you start. Take the megaphone and just start. Uh, Ask can, him his name. Can Can we see your piece? <laughs> oh my God! I, I'm not. Can we stop. see your piece? <laughs> hey, can we see your place? Hey, did, oh my, you're not. Did you see when uh, when Reagan got shot? All of a sudden, the Secret Service guys had like handheld howitzers. Right. You know, they came out of their jackets and stuff. I, I, one guy had a gun. I swear to God, it was some kind of machine gun I've never seen in my life. Really? Huge, and he was keeping it. He was like in short sleeve shirt and uh, in shorts. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, he pulled it out of somewhere. I, oh, you got to watch them guys, Mark. Hey, the Secret Service just came over to me, and they asked me if I'm going to be using the bullhorn. Uh -oh. He told me it was a missile inside the thing. So you know what you do? You go right in his face through the bullhorn and go, no! <laughs> <laughs> right in his face and go, what? No way. The guy's like six foot five, and he's black, and I'm not that. And he's <laughs> black. That's nigga. <laughs> 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 Law and order. Uh, uh, defending the first lady. Hey, want me to see if he's starred in the movie? <laughs> yeah, oh, that'll get you killed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, have you ever seen the movie? Oh, never mind. Uh, Mark, hold on a sec. Someone's very pissed at us. Hold on. We'll go right Hi. back to you. What do we do? Uh, Richard. Hello. Hi. Hey, Dick. What's up, man? Uh, how you doing? Um, you just have no respect. I mean, this is a fellow New Yorker. Hey, Don't curse. Come on. Oh. Why are you cursing? Now he hangs up. What a puss. We ran out of delay, so we had to get rid of Mr. Head. If people want to, uh, you know, bitch about us, we don't care. We'll put you on the air. But for mm. God's sake, you can't curse. Hillary sucks. Monica blows. Mm. Mm. They're trying to think of a real good chant for Mark to start out there. <laughs> whip him out. Um, it's whip, it is Whip him out Wednesday. You guys are getting some good phone calls there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mark, what's up? Not that I'm standing right here. The Secret Service is standing right in front of my face. Ah, uh, really? What's yeah, they're right here. What's the secret? What's the guy's? What's the guy's name? I don't know, but here she comes. She's coming right now. Here, get the sign out, Earl. I got Earl with me here. What what sign you got? I got the big wild sign. Come uh, on, Earl. Oh, I thought you had Hillary is is a. Hey, Hillary. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh, I get the see now. They're gonna get mad at me. This guy just pointed at me. <laughs> Say, hey, Hillary, where's Bill's schlong? Hey, where's Bill? He's schlong. He wants to mask you. He's going to put me in jail. Hillary! Oh, fun bag. Oh, God, I'm going to get a lotion. Hillary! Oh, that's good. She's already gone inside. 
And it was, that was two seconds. It was that and fast. That was, that, that, that was it. That was barely fast. enough time for anyone to squeeze off a shot. <laughs> <laughs> How can you miss? I see Rudy. Damn it, I had to write in my crosshairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did one peep with this bullhorn, and that was it. I was just about to get like a bead on me with her nine millimeters. <laughs> Hillary. You know there was some guy on Hillary the shows your phone bags, he said. Because <laughs> he's politically active. <laughs> hey, now we can cross the street. No, that's Fun awesome. bags for peace. That's uh, it, huh? Look what at that missile. That was it, dude. It was like a five-second deal. She came. She just went. She, she gave her a cheesy little smile. She sort of flashed one of her cans, and then went right in. What, she get out of a limo and stuff? No, they got some stupid van. kind of looks like the NEW van, except it's a little bit nicer. It's probably armor-plated. There's no armor on that thing. I could spit on it and break a window. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So this is an electric field. Uh, Don wants you to chant, I want a cigar. <laughs> I want a cigar! I want a cigar! <laughs> Is, are there still people there? No, they're just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> like a retard. There's some guy yelling down the street over here. He's got a sign and he's screaming obscenities. All right, go go to him. Let's see what's going on. Go, I'm going to go find out. This guy looks really sick. All right, <laughs> that's what we want. Get ready on the dump. It's really He's got, Yeah, get ready for the dump button. All right. <laughs> What do you think about Hillary? It falls up. It falls up. It falls up. What? The, the what? Dude, he's a lucky one. What's your name? I'm telling you. He's not telling me. All right, tell, tell him what he, ask him what he's there for. Well, what are you here for today? The bar. The bar, he said. That sounds fun out of his head. <laughs> He's got one of those little stupid horns. That yeah. Oh, what a nice you know what? He's got that, and the Secret Service is yelling at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. About it. Hey, what do you think about Hillary Clinton? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Good luck. There you go. Follow him. Wait, get right in his face. With Talk to him through the phone. Oh, <laughs> it's nut wars. <laughs> what do you say? He's going to cut off my... Uh, All right, we Hey, Mark. 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 Hey. Tell him through the bullhorn that the, the UFOs know where he is. Hey, the UFOs know who you are. <laughs> They're coming for you. Get them all paranoid. Yeah. Hey, watch out. The UFOs are coming for you. They're coming. I can see them right now. They're going to fly over your head. They're going to People <laughs> <laughs> like dueling here with the horns. My name's Bagel! <laughs> My name's Bagel! What, <laughs> what is he saying? What's he babbling about? He's, I don't know. He's talking. I'm going to cut your uh, uh, pussy off and stuff like that. And it's horrible. <laughs> He's drunk. He's completely drunk out of his mind. Uh. Anyhow, I'm going to get back over and see what the rest of the Going to hear it, darling. All right, man. Uh, we got to take a quick break, Mark. All right. If anything happens, give us a call back, all right? I will. You know what I'm going to try and do? There's some TV, uh, there's news uh, crews down here. Me and Earl got the big wild sign, so we're going to try and get on TV and uh, mess up some newscasts. Oh, get the, the, the bullhorn ready when they go live. Oh, yeah. What, what do you want me to say? What channels are out there? Uh, they got Channel 2, channels, you know, all the channels are here, Fox News, everybody. All right. Well, when they go live, get the megaphone and just start chanting uh, Whip Him Out Wednesday or something, all right? All right. All right, we'll check in with you in a bit. All right, guys. All right, there you go. Psycho Mark, everyone. He's going to get arrested. He was able, able to scream, show us your fun bags, before Hillary uh, made it into the Letterman studio. <laughs> <laughs> show us your fun bags. <laughs> all right, rep. We'll be back. Obi, 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 Anthony. One zero two seven W N E W. One zero two seven W N E W. It's Opie. It's Anthony. It's Adam Ferrar. He's got bail money. Well, <laughs> Cycle Mark's uh, back on the line. Lots going on. Uh, Mark. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm standing right here in front of the uh, CBS store. 
and uh, they got camera crews all the way up and down the street. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, they spotted me. I, I, there's not, I'm the only guy walking around with a bullhorn, so uh, <laughs> it's not too hard to uh, miss me. What, the yeah. Secret Service came up to you? Yeah, Secret Service came right up to me. They were pissed. <laughs> they were pissed. They did not like the fun bags comment. <laughs> that, was a, that was a little out there. What, what about the news? Yeah, what about the news? What about the news? Yeah, yeah, the news crew's on to I'm, uh, I'm waiting for uh, Channel 2. They're about to go up right uh, within the next 10 minutes. I, if, uh, I'm waiting for Earl to signal me, uh, but he's busy looking at some chick, so uh, I'm not going to get a signal from him. Okay. But uh, I'm waiting for her to go up and do live, and then I'm just going to flash my big wild sign. Oh, that's cool. We'll be and, uh, watching. Yeah, we're watching. <laughs> We're watching as uh, as you speak, uh, Mark. So as the world turns, uh, Stephen Clark is talking, talking. He's talking. He's talking. Crime Stoppers one eight hundred five seven seven tips. <laughs> All right, uh, stay on the line. We're gonna go to you as soon as uh, as soon as we know you're on TV. There. Yeah, as soon as as soon as you know I'm on TV, I'll do a nutty. All right, hold on. We'll we'll check in with you in a couple seconds here. All right, keep on hold. All right. Uh, no, no, that seems to be a bus accident. Uh, <laughs> almost, sort of um, almost like the train wreck. <laughs> yeah, you got to get your eyes checked out. <laughs> you got me over here on the other side of the console. Yeah, that, the kids say. Yeah, that looks like a psychopath with a bullhorn. It's a, it's a bus. It's a tanker truck. <laughs> tanker over tanker truck. Chris, what's going on? Uh, so what's up? What's the deal? Uh, not much. <laughs> okay, anyway, I saw uh, when you guys were um, talking like two days ago about the legend nigga trolley, and that first came up with the inter the clip from the internet. Because mm -hmm. I have no life, I ran right out and got it uh, at uh, Kim's video in Manhattan. Right. They got all this stuff. All right. um, I took it home. I watched it. It's the greatest black western I've ever seen in my entire really? life. Really? Yeah, we're I looking laughed. forward to checking out that movie for ourselves. What's up? Go ahead. You like the movie? You laughed, yeah. I laughed, I cried. <laughs> and I have a good feeling about me. I laughed, I, I really cried, don't. listen to and you. And there, there was brief nudity in it, and I just felt like, kind of like, just really African afterwards. All right, thank you, Mark. Uh, All right. Chris, thank you, Chris. Take it easy. All right, bye. So the film does exist. Yeah, we're very distracted. Oh, yeah. uh, Mark. Yeah. Uh, coming up, they said they're doing the Hillary piece. Oh, they get a little tease. The, uh, is the reporter right near you? Yeah, the reporter. I am standing right behind her, dude. All right, don't don't let him on to you quite yet. Yeah, look at yeah, him. It's yeah. kind of too late. Why? It's, uh, she sort of spotted me. Yeah, but they, have, the they still have to go they on. They have to go on, man. Says, wow. Who's asking you about your sign? Oh, the reporter. Oh, damn it. <laughs> don't worry about it. You have balls. I do. I have huge Just tell, her, tell her it means wow because you're happy to be here. She doesn't know what it means. Right. <laughs> Flip it over and, and have it say, uh, Hillary, mom. Hillary mom. is a C. <laughs> Hillary said, no way. You guys will have to dump me. All right. You'll be able to hear it. <laughs> Can I say hi to my mother? I want to say hi to mom. There you go. All right. You want to see if the uh, reporter will wow? Uh, no, they're 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 gonna go to her any second. Any now. second, right. man. Yeah, yeah any second. Side we're side of the side. We gotta hold it up high. Yeah, we gotta keep you on the line here. We gotta talk to Anthony on line seven. His friends in jail for threatening our Hillary. Really? <laughs> what's what's the problem? All right, I think they're ready to go to her. Hold yeah. that up oh. high, will you? <laughs> Right, right. Almost ready. Go. Kind of synchronized. All right, date, date with Dave, date with Stephen Dave. Mark, Channel 2 News. Come on, Mark. This is like interactive TV. Come on. This is good. You get to screw at the TV and watch it at the same time. All right, joystick. You can move Mark around. <laughs> this is what the future is like. There he is. With the huge boss sign. Move over. Move, move over. over. Move over. Move over. Move over. What happened, Mark? What happened, Mark? Some CBS guy just jumped in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you looked like a stock-raving lunatic. <laughs> oh, that was classic.
back, man. Dude, it was hilarious. They were like, move over, move over. He goes right over. Dude, are they going to go back to you? Dude, the guy from the truck came over and ripped my sign out of my hands. Oh, uh, come on. Did they? Yeah, Oh, you're a freaking lunatic, that man. That was hilarious, man. Why are they going back? They got to go back. What They're going back. What are you going to do when they come back? You got the uh, bullhorn, right? Oh, you got the bullhorn. Bullhorn. Say, uh... Yeah, because the guy's about to punch my cheek out. And we work for the same company. Come on, we work for the same company. <laughs> they ought to know. This is a cross-promotion. Oh. Yeah. oh, he is so mad. He's just getting to a rock and a horse. You were, like, screaming. It's hysterical. <laughs> Dude, you're a pisser. <laughs> it was hilarious. I, I mean, we got to explain this for the for everyone stuck in their car. <laughs> it's like interactive TV. We got Channel 2 News on. They go live outside Letterman's studio. There's Mark with the hugest wow sign you'll ever see. <laughs> but all you see on TV is like half the O and, and the second W. So we're like, move over, move over. Oh, here he is. Where are you, Mark? Where are you, Mark? They're back to you. Oh, I got some reinforcements at least. Uh, get, right. behind, get behind her. Get behind her. Get back live. Get back on? Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's the wild side again. Chance, whip them out. Whip them out. Move to the move to the side. Move to the side real fast. Move to the side. Move over. Move over. God damn it, that's the funniest thing. Hold on a second, Mark. Hold on, hold on a sec, Mark. Butchie's in the studio from the radio. I'm listening to you guys, but I'm listening to the TV at the same time. So she's standing there, and Anthony says, "Say whip them out." So they're yelling, "Whip them out!" But she's trying to do the rest of the report. So as she's closing the report, she looks back and she says, "As you can hear, it's getting loud out here." We're calling the police. Uh, they can't call the police. Hey, Mark. Yeah. That was hilarious. Bravo. Well done. Bravo, Mark. Right. Now, that's interactive television right there. It's, 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 not, she's not very happy. Oh, uh, come on. Who's not happy? Marsha Kramer. She's very mad at me. You tell her go to uh, no, are you doing our boss. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm hanging out. The thing is, you should be allowed to do your job. I should be allowed to do mine. Oh, oh we're giving it all pissed. Come on. Cool with I, I'm, I, I, that's his job. He is doing his job. That's his job. Now, it, was, it was fine. I have another live shot to do. Either you let me do it in the I'm going to call him. All right. That sounds cool. Oh, come on. You can't threaten the cops. That was fun. I got the cops are here. We're friends with Hey, Mark. Hey, what's up? Mark, I, I hear a dare. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's daring you. All right, I'll go bother Fox. Uh, I'll go bother Fox. All right, are there CBS on there, too? Yeah, why don't you bother them? Oh, there's CBS as well? Yeah, why all right, I'll go bother them. All right. <laughs> tell, her, tell her she got a ton of free advertising right you there. You guys got so much free advertising. That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, she is mad. She is not happy. Yeah, I bet. Her. All what, right. a what a face on her. All right. Mark, hold on the line, all right? Yeah. Talk to him. Make sure nothing's going on. There's so many people that saw it on TV. <laughs> uh, Paula, what's going on? I just saw that damn stuff just now, and my God. She actually said to Marsha Clark, oh, wow, we're neighbors. Oh, wow. I bought a cup of sugar. No, Hillary, why don't you give your hubby a hummer? You have heard of those, have you? Oh, boy. Woo. Okay. She's a lunatic. Uh, James, you're next on the program. What's up? I'm so pissed at you guys. I'm driving in my car, and I cannot see this. You better put it on your website. The official <laughs> website. Oh, it's hysterical. Yeah, hopefully someone's got a copy of that. We didn't think it was going to happen today. So. Oh, my God. I hope they show it on the news or something. That's the highlight. Forget Hillary. All that right. is the highlight. All right, James. Thank you. See, some guy on the instant feedback said the, the delay really screws with you when you're watching at home because it's a 40-second delay from when we're talking to when right. they're watching yeah. on TV. Yeah. So we're saying move over, move over. And it's already over. And right. Yeah. Oh, it was complete interactive. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you got to link up our audio with that video for the website. <laughs> yeah, really. You know, like, like interactive TV, we're not waiting. We'll make it ourselves. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. What's up? Guys, I'm watching on TV and I'm listening to the radio at the same time. What the last guy said is totally true. It's the funniest damn thing because I hear 
I see Mark making a total ass out of something. <laughs> his tongue hanging out of his mouth. And you guys are like, all right, they're going to cut you real soon. Then they cut away and go to the interview, and I hear you guys scream, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> Funniest damn thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's Thank funny. you, Andrew. All right, thanks a lot. What a bunch of kids. That was hilarious. <laughs> that could be the funniest thing I've ever that seen. That was pretty funny. Oh, that was great. Mike, what's up? Why you guys are hilarious. You're going to get him shot by the secret service. <laughs> Mark's a lunatic. They're going to pick him off right there on the spot. He'll, t he'll do anything, man. <sighs> the scene is funny because, like you said, you know, the, the delay, Yeah. I'm cracking up. Yeah. I'm you're going to get him shot, I swear. All right, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. It was funny because, I mean, the sign wasn't on TV. No. And, and it was interactive. Like, no, move over. Move over. Yeah. But then, like, when he moved over, her head was the O. <laughs> it was... <laughs> W O our head and another W. Harris, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, I was in my room listening to that. Yeah. I booked downstairs yelling, put on TV, put on TV. That was the funniest thing I've ever <laughs> yeah. seen. You know we're going to get in trouble by the company again. Yeah, I know. I feel, I feel it in my get, bones. Before we get in trouble, I hope they realize we gave them a ton of free advertising. Oh, okay. Come on. All right, Harris. Thank right, you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Later. Why do we always screw with our own company? <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the Christmas party this year. Eddie! Hey, I'm paying the toll at the Bayonne Bridge at the Turnpike. I'm dying. I'm crying over here. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Are you all right? Oh, my God. This is hilarious. <laughs> I got to see it on the website. Please put it on. All right, man. Thank I'll be you. I'm over there half an hour. I got to check it out. All right, man. Take care, man. <laughs> The big wild bat would be on Marsha's head. <laughs> People are dying. Oh. Pete, what's going on? Open! Anthony, everyone, what's hey, up? Man. Oh, my God. I was, I was in my car, right, listening to, like, the build-up to this little bit. Yeah. I walk up to my apartment, put, I walk in, my roommates are all watching the television, listen to you guys going, oh, my God, I think he's going to do it. I almost pissed in my pants. <laughs> that was the funniest thing oh. I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, my... Someone just said it, but it was it's true. Her her head was the O. Yeah, it wow. was hysterical. <laughs> oh my it was priceless. I just want to tell you guys, man, that was hilarious. All right, uh, we gotta get oh. we gotta go back to Mark, he's getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Mark, what's up? Dude, I almost got a tune up from the car. <laughs> he almost got a tune up. <laughs> I almost got a tune up. What happened? Well, the cop comes over and he's like, Kiss, and he's looking right in my face, and he's like, Dude, is that a microphone on? I'm like, No, sir, no, sir, it's not, you know? So he grabs me, pulls me around the corner, and he goes, <laughs> Look, I listen to Open Anthony all the time. Just do me a favor. Get out of here, will you? <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, you know, look, the lady thought I was going to get busted. The, uh, the girl from CBS, day, she was mad. She's like, oh, good. The cops are going to arrest him now. And the cops are here on the corner. He's just like, hey, dude, I love the show, but you've got to move on, all right? Uh, Give somebody else the sign. Yeah. Are, so uh, are you done, you think, or what? Well, I'm, I, I kind of am because I'm getting nasty looks. There's one guy from CBS here. It looks like he's calling uh, the head honcho. He's describing me as I look. You boy can't be doing that. <laughs> what the hell you boy do? You're interrupting our own news broadcast, for God's sake. <laughs> all right, Mark. Dude, it's so funny. They got the uh, Secret Service all in front of the theater here, and they locked all the doors to the theater, and Mark, nobody's getting in and out. Mark, the phones are going nuts. Everyone uh, is peeing in their pants. It was a stupid I'm going to probably head back to the station. The deed has been done. All right, yeah, no problem. And, uh, and I don't think I'm going to get any more uh, exposure here because they were about the only people alive. All right, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you when you get back. All right, guys. Psycho Mark, everyone. He's back. Yeah. A little interactive television there for our show. Oh, God, was that so freaking funny. Oh, the funniest thing is it's, it's one thing to just hold up a sign mm -hmm. in front of a live broadcast. It's another to hold it up and jump around and yell like a stark <laughs> raving madman. Did you see him but it's still in that a, clip? It's, it's still another thing to be able to direct the guy doing it. Yeah, direct the guy doing it. <laughs> We're the new Steven Spielberg here at the oh, radio station. But it's so funny. He's jumping up and down. Yeah! Yeah! But you know, you know what? The funniest thing to me is when you said move to the left and he did it. <laughs> We're watching TV. Move. Ah, he's moving that was funny. It's so easily entertained. What, what he said, you know, he's going to uh, hold up a wow sign. I thought it was going to be like a tiny two by three foot sign. No, that was Oh, huge. my God. It was so freaking huge. It's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Swip them out Wednesday sign. <laughs> classic. That uh, was classic. Uh, Jesse, what's up? 
that guy's insane. You should see the tape. <laughs> yeah, and we saw it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Oh, you taped you it? You got a copy yeah. of the tape? Oh, we got to see that. Get a copy for the website. Sick. He looks insane. He's like a madman. He's like Stuttering John and Crackhead Bob put together. Oh, don't say that. He's doing his own thing. Oh, yeah. no, sure. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Huh? We'll get a copy of the tape. Uh, Sean, what's up? Yo. Hey. I got a copy of the tape for you guys. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Awesome. Can you hold on the line? Sure, yeah. All right, cool. We'll have you come down with it and everything. You can check out the show. All right, thanks. All right, hold on. Ben will talk to you. Uh, Steve, you're next. Sorry, man. Hey, Steve, you're up. Yeah, how you doing? All right. I just uh, want to thank you guys for curing me of the flu. I just passed a Diet Coke through my nose. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> awesome. I I can breathe in five days. Uh, cool. <laughs> the show has the power to heal. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. All right, Steve. The the phones are just nuts. Bob. That was so funny. <laughs> I was sitting there taking a bong hit. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know what channel you guys were talking about. So I'm all trying to call in and find out what channel. And I'm thinking, no way, man. They're not going to do it with the CBS. They work for CBS. <laughs> and sure enough, man, there they were on CBS. I hope you guys enjoyed it because we are going to get screwed yeah, again. We're, we're we're guaranteed lot, we're in trouble for that. We're going to be pulled into another meeting. Oh, don't you boys ever learn. What the hell's wrong with you? All right, Sean. Goddamn got Fox, NBC, ABC, all standing around waiting to go live. You pick CBS. When did Ross Perot buy the station? Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should be in on some of these conference calls from down south with oh, this really? guy. We are so you scared. You've got to listen to reason. <laughs> they want you to work for this company for a long time. We want you to have a long career. With us here at this company. But goddamn, we're not going to tolerate that. <laughs> like, oh, God. Cowbell Bill's on uh, the warm line. Our buddy, our pal. Hey, Wheel. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, man. You know, I'm listening to the radio. I'm like, oh, what are they talking about? I'm doing the dishes. I got my back toward the TV. <laughs> yeah. Because of the delay, I turned around. It was perfect timing, man. <laughs> I see Mark jumping around like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, oh, my God. He was, he looked, I want an Easter egg. I want an Easter egg. I want an Easter egg. <laughs> he was like a madman. He yeah. was. He was psycho Mark. He's just like jumping around yelling, and the per the news woman is just horrified. <laughs> but she has to stay like yeah. this, and the camera has got to keep going. Really? Oh. I couldn't believe it, man. Whip him out. Whip him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they they got to show that at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they'll never see that again. You, you will yeah, never yeah. see that again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, my God. She's horrified. I'm they're going to show that in a meeting so, when they read you out. Wet. I'm pissing in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> God, there's so many people in their cars. It was the funniest thing oh ever. Oh, my God. Ever. <laughs> there's got to be a few cars on the side of the road, oh, boys. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Hey, Adam, what's up, brother? How are you? All right, man. You're going to see uh, Adam at Governor's uh, this weekend? Are you going to go? Yeah, I'm going like tomorrow. All right, man. Give me a buzz or something, you know. Maybe we'll hook up and uh, check it out. Cool. There he is. There he is. Psycho Mark. Bill, we got to fly. Hi, boys. Right. Bill. Bill, 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 everyone. Psycho, Psycho Mark. Mark back in the studio. <laughs> hey, Bravo. We bow to you today, man. <laughs> You're a freaking lunatic. You look like a mental patient <laughs> With the fur on the arms. TV. He's wearing his sweater. He's got fur on the arms. His tail. Michaela, <laughs> the mobile producer was so mad at me. He wanted to knock my teeth down. He wanted to tune me up. Tune you up. We're gonna we're gonna catch the, the heat. Yeah, we're gonna catch hell for that, guarantee. Oh, we're gonna catch a lot of heat oh, for that boy. one. Uh oh. Uh, let's go to Tom real fast. Tom, what's up? Yo. Yeah. You guys almost broke my freaking ankle. I ran down the stairs to see what the hell was going on. And you ever like see somebody walking on water or something? I fell down the freaking stairs and almost cracked my head open because <laughs> I had to see what the hell was going on. That was the funniest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. That was so funny. It was just beyond funny. That was, that was a moment, man. You I tell guys, you, anytime something happens in this city where they go live somewhere, we got to just send you instantly over there. Yeah. You guys are the funniest freaking people, man. <laughs> you guys rock. All right. Thanks, Tom. Later. Bye. <laughs> Who yelled at you? Was it the newscast that he yelled? No, the uh, the guy actually came from inside the truck. Who was the chick though that we heard yeah, yelling? That, at that was her. That was oh, her. That was, oh, her. Oh, that was, her. Oh, that was Marcia. Yeah, it was uh, Marcia. Ryan. 
Yeah, I just want to know, uh, guys, when is the farewell show going to be? <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you're going to listen every day. This could be it right here today. You never know. You never know. And I'm surprised Psycho Mark made it back without getting shook up by the Secret Service. Oh, my really? God. Yeah. They were not Thanks a lot, guys. Hi, man. Wow. They're just coming in like oh. crazy. Uh, Mark. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? All right. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm racing home. I'm about a half mile from work. I hear you guys on the radio. I think I picked off two old ladies in front of shop right in Rochelle Park. <laughs> I'm driving. I go, I fly down my block 70 miles an hour. I just park my car right in the middle of the street and race the stairs. I'm still watching Channel 2. <laughs> I'm still watching See, Channel we two. gave them a lot of publicity. Mm -hmm. Channel 2 how, News rocks. How can they get mad at you guys? We might need you for a character witness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm watching a little show about little kids right now. I can't turn the radio on, you know? Yeah. I had that delay thing. That's but I'm, I'm going to buy their I, I'm advertising. I got Lee Cowan in Washington, D.C. right now. So, so you guys don't worry about it. You guys are funny guys. All right, Mark. Thank Very you. Very funny. See All you right, later. Bye. But the problem is we're always screwing with our company. We don't mean to, but it just happens that way. I know. Yeah, but it's good publicity for them. Oh, yeah. Oh. You, you tell the big boss when he <laughs> reams us out again. Jimmy. Yeah, the funniest thing happened. Yeah. My dad's driving me home from drug rehab, right? <laughs> Dude, he, he almost rear-ended a cop car. We're laughing so hard. The cops pull him over, he, and he, my dad's explaining the situation. The cop just burst out laughing. He let my dad go because he was listening to you guys, too. Oh, awesome. The cop was almost in tears when oh, he pulled us over. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> just cool. want to let you guys know. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay. Oh, God damn. There's one guy's doing a bong hit, the other guy's coming home from rehab. <laughs> We're proud of our listeners. Yes. Yeah. They don't aim high. Uh, Rob. Yeah, what's up, guys? All right. Uh, Mark, I got one question for you. Yeah. How do you walk around with that set you got? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, like, walk around like John Wayne, swaying like? I mean, you should be up for, like, a daytime Emmy with that performance. He comes in, He comes into the studio with a wheelbarrow for his uh, junk. Oh, God. <laughs> I, got a, I got a small, like, one-room apartment. Yeah. My, my living room and my, my kitchen are connected. Yeah. I'm listening to the radio in the, in the, in the living room. I had to see Channel 2. I'm... I'm Booking into the into my bedroom because my TV's busting in the living room. I hit the linoleum floor. Still, I cracked my head on the floor. You guys almost killed me. <laughs> you know how funny that was? When they went back to Stephen Clark, he had a real tough time not smiling. You could see, like, his mouth was like... <laughs> yeah, well, I got an instant feedback here. I don't know about this. I, It, it seems real. Uh, this guy from the CBS control room. He goes, God, I'm in the CBS control room. We almost went off the air. All the technicians were on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Ben? We know that Stephen Clark listens to this show because Mark and I met him once, and he listens to you guys. He told us that. <laughs> so, Mike Adams Park? Yeah, so Mike Adams Park. Was he? Yeah, he was there. He loves you guys. He listens all the guy was definitely cracking a smile yeah, when they oh, came back. Fun. All right, listen, we definitely got to take a break. Yeah. We went like 20 minutes longer than and we were supposed to. Attorney. <laughs> yeah, we got to. Oh, please, don't. Oh, we're screwed again. Oh, it. Yeah, but it's always fun. What the hell? <laughs> All right, uh, we got to take a break. It might be a little longer than usual, but uh, please stay right there, okay? We'll be, ba we'll be back with more of your phone calls, all right? Uh, <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Someone get this pen out of my nose. <laughs> 1027 WNEW. 7 WNEW, it's Opie and Anthony. We're in the middle of a pretty long commercial break because we just talked for like 50 straight minutes. <laughs> so please hang uh, hang in there. Bunch of other people on the lines that have comments about Mark's little uh, wow TV <laughs> stunt He's outside the, outside the uh, Letterman studio. They're all just losing it outside the studio. <laughs> But uh, we apologize. We're in the middle of a long, long commercial break. We'll be back. Stay there. 1027 WNEW. We're back. It's Opie and Anthony out for our. God, that was funny. And our new hero, Psycho Mark, in the Psycho studio. Psycho Mark, a stark raving madman with balls the size of uh, globes. <laughs> Unbelievable. They hum when he walks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Got an email here from Nick from Jersey. Yeah. Okay, that stunt proves it. You guys are the funniest, most F up uh, people I've ever seen. Um, the delay made it more bizarre because he was watching as we were talking. We have the delay to deal with, but uh, some people said it was funnier that way. Cool. I think it's worth the punishment that you guys should be getting. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope you live through it. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you, you got to go for it where you can, and sometimes there's things called friendly fire, you know? <laughs> like, we're just throwing this crap out there, and unfortunately, one of our... Uh, Compadres got it. Oops. 
Uh, Al. Oh, absolutely incredible. <laughs> Sheer brilliance. As you guys are talking about it, I'm watching the TV, waiting for the build-up. I find myself jumping all over my living room like in the, at the end of a Toyota commercial when I see Mark <laughs> in the background. And uh, now I pretty much got to go change my drawers because I uh, pretty much peed myself from laughing so hard. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> incredible. She was so bent. Absolutely. Oh, I, I, I tell her that she can't do a job. Obviously, she has no sense of humor. Oh. Uh, I can see her news editor just screaming. Even at her, but uh, I got a psycho walk. I'm glad that guy hustled you out of there, bro. If I was working at detail, I would have smuggled you out too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Al. Have a great day, guys. That guy was like Harriet Tubman getting off the stage at the Underground Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I, I drive a limo and I got into an accident. <laughs> so <laughs> freaking much. <laughs> Oh, we're on cloud nine right now. It's just the freaking funniest thing ever. ever. I know he's a freaking nut, man. Yeah, this one puts uh, <laughs> this one puts Psycho Mark on the on the map finally. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, man. All right, take it easy, man. Bye. Bye. Here's another guy. I'm one of the techies at CBS News Studio. I saw what happened. Fell on the floor laughing. I almost got fired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg, what's up? Hey, listen, I used to intern for CBS in the OJ unit, and I also worked for Hillary once. Yeah. You guys should get Ziggy and Snoop and go back there when she leaves the studio. <laughs> that would be so funny to see that. And then have her tell them what she's going to do for them if she makes it to be senator in New York. Very good. All right? Thank you. Hey, you guys suck, all, all right? right? All right, man. Uh, Bob. That's uh, out. Al, what's up? Yeah, you know, this is going to make Dick Clark's runners and bloopers. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all right. See, now, I guess we got to, what happened? Because when, when we saw the sign, we were freaking out so much. What was being said on the TV? Was she, like, really distracted because you were yelling so loud, Mark? I was behind her. Oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I was behind her. I didn't really get to see but her. You were shouting like a lunatic. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I was yelling, forget the bullhorn. I don't need a bullhorn. Yeah, see, that's what we need to find out now. Yeah, yeah. How, did, how did it look on TV? Yeah. Butchie said he was listening in the other room and he heard uh, me screaming, you know, whip them up, whip them up. <laughs> and she was all flustered, you know. She was just, uh, uh, her makeup was beautiful. I keep off. looking back at the TV like it's still on. I, I don't want to see well, it. Well, they're going live again, but we were told to leave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah likely. Likely. You can't totally push Go it. Go back with the sign that says John 11. <laughs> Get the big uh, afro, the multicolored afro. <laughs> I'll go back with a disguise. Dave, yeah, go with someone else. Dave, Guys. what's up? Guys, what are you doing to me? I almost killed myself. <laughs> I, I have a cast on, and I heard it, and I'm trying to do some work. So I run down the stairs. You know, I'm trying to hop down as fast as I can, and I trip. I almost cracked my skull open. I almost break my cast off. Yeah, everyone was rushing to the TV to yeah, see this. I know. I, I was just like, Jesus Christ, you guys are trying to kill me. And Psycho Mark, man, you're the effing man, dude. I love you guys. All right, Dave, Later. thank you. All right, uh, Rob? Hey, Rob. Hey, how you doing? Good, you're next on NEW. What's yeah, up? Yeah, how you doing, ONA? All right. All right. Uh, I've been listening for like about eight months now. You guys rule. You're the best. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, yeah, I was just uh, was watching the news again um, before they went... They went to commercial and Marsha Kramer was on again. She was so pissed off. <laughs> it was like the funniest thing. She didn't even crack a smile. It was like they cleared the whole area back there. I didn't see Psycho Mark or anybody. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're, it was, it we're the best. I think we're screwed again. Uh, no, don't say that. I hope not. But I hope not either. Tomorrow. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, Rob. Hey, bye bye. Bye. Um, Tommy, you're next. A couple yeah, more of these right. and we'll move on. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought anything could beat Nigga Charlie, man. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the soul of Mark. We should quit today because I don't think we'll ever do anything funnier than what just happened. Well, at least I got it on tape. All uh, right, cool. Thanks, All Tommy. Right, bye. <laughs> bye. This guy was next to you when you were holding up the sign. Rob. Hey, what's going on? You were really there? Yeah, it was right there. Okay. It was, yeah, it was the funniest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. <laughs> it was so cool. The, the best was a bunch of you guys on your cell phones yeah. trying to call the show because you were behind the reporter as well. Yeah, it was... Is he there, Psycho Mark? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. a crazy bastard. All right, thanks, Rob. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm just as good as Psycho Mark. You need me to do anything? Well, wait, were you there when she was yelling at him? Yeah. 
How pissed was she? I was on the floor. <laughs> there's, there's nothing you need me to do. I'm just like Psycho Mark. Uh, we have a Psycho Mark. We have a Psycho Man. Mark. I'm from Armonk, New York. If you, if you guys, thanks, I brother. Live right, I, live, I live right near Hillary. Rob, I got to hang up on you. You got the radio show on in the I'm background. Armonk, it's right, very, bye. very distracting. People say we ought to do this uh, on a daily basis with Total Request Live over at MTV. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. We're looking for things that uh, Psycho Mark can do in the future. Yeah. Be, he swears he'll do just about anything. Yeah. Even things that'll get him arrested. He doesn't care. We got bail money. Yeah, as long as you're not for a murder somewhere or anything. Yeah, right. Nothing for a felony. All right, but send in your ideas, and we'll we'll get Mark to start doing some really wacky things. <laughs> he had the big wow hat on, the wow <laughs> sign. So stark raving lunatic. I love it. I, I, I regress back to being, like, I think 13. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> when it all comes together. <laughs> oh. Hey, this guy John. Let's right. get him to eat a worm. <laughs> this guy John's got something funny. John, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. Can, can I borrow, can I, uh, borrow or hire Psycho Mark? My ex wife's getting married in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> he can hold up a big sign that says, You slut. <laughs> no, just call you, no, no, you can do anything you want. You can call it anything. You can call it C word, everything. She fits them all. Oh, funny. <laughs> I want to say you guys did the best thing ever. All right. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. When's thank you. Bye. Bye. Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey, dudes, what's up? Man? What's up? <laughs> dudes, I swear, I broke my nose, man. <laughs> I broke my freaking nose trying to get to see this thing. I'm listening to you guys, and my TV's got crappy reception, so I start running down the hall to see it on the other TV. I ran smack right down into the middle of the damn door jam. <laughs> my nose is broken, dude. I'm going to the hospital now. All right, thanks, bro. All right, bro. Take care. How many people are we going to send to the hospital today from this bit? Another guy was there says that Marsh is really pissed. Chris. Yo, how you doing, guys? All right. Yo, Psycho Mark, man. You know what it felt like remember when uh, when uh, Reagan got shot? Remember when all those cops just jumped on that one guy? <laughs> Dude, that was a trip, man. <laughs> Yo, guys, man, you know what? I never knew these freaking news people put on so much freaking makeup. Look at somebody went on there with spackle. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I couldn't believe that, man. She was nasty looking, bro. I see the dog's butt. It made it look better looking than that. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, man. Later, guys. All right, bye. Instant feedback says uh, Marsha just came back on and she looked mad as hell. Yeah, she's still pissed. <laughs> uh, risk. I guarantee they're 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 talking to somebody from uh, CBS down the hall as we speak. Guarantee it. Just know this company like the back of my head at this point. Uh, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Uh, Pete. Hello. You're up, Pete. What's up? No, this is Danny. You got the wrong name. All right, I called Danny. in about The Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should send Psycho Mark over to WWF in the Continental Arena and talk about The Rock being a nigga. Oh, oh my oh, God. Come on. Pete, we're all having fun, and you got to you gotta say that. Jeez, Jiminy Cricket. The Garden, Royal Rumble. Yeah. I think we have tickets. <laughs> Get you a huge sign. Front row. Front row. Well, we're looking for signs, man. Like we we we've seen uh, some before. Like every time uh, WWF comes around, Continental or uh, the Garden Coliseum, we see the signs: Opie and Anthony, or O and A, or Rusty Trombone. <laughs> we are looking. Anybody that is going to any of those shows that are televised in this area, especially the Royal Rumble, just bashing the Rock signs. Just bash the hell out of the Rock with your signs. Yeah, we will. We will have you on the next day. Especially uh, uh, the Garden Show, January 23rd. Yep. Because that's the big pay-per-view. That would just be hysterical. <laughs> the Rock's a pussy. <laughs> O&A, love The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rich, you're next on the show. All right. Hey, what's up? Not much, man. I was just sitting there going home on the LIE and bumper to bumper traffic. And when that went down with Psycho Mark, about five cars around me started beeping their horns. The guy next to me was pounding on his dashboard. I almost wet my pants. I couldn't believe it, man. I just, I couldn't wait to get home, but I didn't make it in time. Oh, uh, too bad. It was too funny, man. You guys rock. All right, thank you. All right, man. I think the audio is just as funny, though. We might have yeah. to replay that at the end of the show. I want to hear that. Because it was just unbelievable. <laughs> And, of course, uh, a good rock sign will be, hey, rock, steal or eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we mean. Oh, man. 
I think we're just about done with this. <laughs> I think we have to take another break, Ant. <laughs> you want to give those away? Yeah. All right, that'll change the subject. Oh, <laughs> classic. Mark, we bow to you today. Yes, bravo. <laughs> it's love when we have one of those moments on this show. That they we'll live on in here for me. Cash. <laughs> cash. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we got some tickets to give away. The Seton Hall basketball, Seton Hall playing St. John's, very cool game at the Continental Arena on this uh, on this Tuesday, January 18th. On this Tuesday, whatever, January 18th. If you want to go see Seton Hall and St. John's at the Continental Arena, you could uh, call up right now. Spaz is working the phone, so he'll take the tenth caller. Two one two seven five seven one zero two seven. Tickets for all Seton Hall games are available available through Ticket Master. <laughs> I'm all for violence sometimes. Hey, you guys are a bunch of pussy. God, I want to punch you in the face. That'll leave a bruise. 1027 WNEW. 1027 WNEW, it's Opie and Anthony. What a day, what a day, what a day. Ah, yeah. Line of the day. Move to the left. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess uh, we're losing Adam, huh? That was, yeah, I gotta go. Adam's cutting out? I gotta go. Adam Where are you going, pal? Going. Where are you going? I gotta leaving. go do laundry. <laughs> I got stuff to do. If you don't get there by 6.30, you don't get a dry A big star like you? You got to be going laundry. You're coming out Thursday. I want everything to be just so. Yes. Governors, uh, tomorrow, Friday, Thursday, Saturday, 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 Sunday. And Sunday. The incomparable Adam Ferrara. Comedy stylings. Of yeah. Us. I think Adam wants to leave after that stunt we just pulled with CBS News. He still wants that chance to let her yeah. He wants to get the hell out of here. That's right. You guys can yell all you want. Oh, we wrecked it. Uh, that was so funny. Yeah, that was good. All right. All right, Adam, we will be sure to uh, catch up with you at Governor's. All right, good seeing you again. Hey, you got me on the list, man. I'm going to put you down. You're a hell of a guy. You want to sit ringside or you want to sit in the back and look at the broads? Sit in the back. <laughs> you know, because it's like, I, I don't it. like being right up front. I hate being in the front. You get some smart-ass comic, and then I got to unleash on him, and it looks bad because he's getting paid to be there, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm tearing him a new a My hole. God. And, Adam, and it's going to be foot. And Adam does work the front row pretty good. No, I don't. And Adam, I'm talking about the other comics that are on there. Like, I know Adam wouldn't razz me or something. The first thing I do, I swear to you, mm -hmm. when I sit down and I am seated pretty close to the stage, when a, a comic comes out, I look at him the second he comes out and think of at least three friggin' barbs I could slam at this guy at any given moment. So if he says anything to me, right. boom, I'm right back in two seconds. The crowd goes bull crap. You're a boy scout. You're prepared. I know. Good for you. You got to be when you go to those places. <laughs> it makes you look really funny, <laughs> no matter how stupid you are. <laughs> it's not like a daytime strip bar. People can get hurt in these Right. <laughs> All right, Adam. Hi, boys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, for our, everyone. Always good seeing you. Make it easy there, buddy. Be good, Sam. Yeah. Anthony, on the way, we're going to play the um, Hillary and Chelsea go to Africa. A lot of people are requesting <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, Hillary's going to be on Letterman tonight. It's juvenile humor at its best. That's on the way. And Opie involved with that bit. Yeah, I actually. Your voice. Your voice. I actually did some voices for the, the radio show. The voice of Chelsea Clinton. Played by Opie. Played by Opie. Thank you. Thank you very much. In a stunning dual role, I was uh, Mandingo and Hillary. <laughs> Patty Duke. <laughs> <laughs> it's so juvenile. <laughs> it really is. It's third grade humor at its best. If you've never heard it, stick around for that. Also... We're going to attempt to uh, replay the, the audio of Psycho Mark outside Letterman's studio. Got to get a li at least a piece of that, because yeah. i got to hear that again. Right. I was just laughing. Yeah, because we have no idea what we said. We were laughing so hard. Yeah. In the meantime, though, and a quick musical break, because we really got to regroup here, okay? All right. And we'll be back with that uh, Hillary and Chelsea thing from Africa. <laughs> For us to piss you off to the point where you're going to change the station. That's what I need to know. Shove it. Anthony. <laughs> Boy, it sure is easy to be a fag on this show, <laughs> isn't it? That's going to be trouble. And Anthony. He just received a PhD in stupidity. 1027. WNEW. And yes, we are here. Getting a little nervous. A couple insiders have called us saying to tell us that there's... Uh, a lot of crap going down right now because of us and our show. Yeah. A lot of yelling and screaming. A bunch of people want to know who we report to. That's never a good sign, Anthony. Oops. Well. If you're just I tuning know. in, you just missed some unbelievable stuff today. Yeah, it was fun. My God. We're still in the middle of our radio show, but now we're getting a little nervous, Anthony. Just a bit. Not as much as April 1st a couple of years ago. That's true. We can't get fired over something like that, can we? I'm not saying anything. Okay. Knock a little wood. 
Uh, Alan, you're next on the radio show. What's up? Hey, guys. How you doing? All right. Uh, I was just watching the uh, footage of the um, on Channel 2. They were showing, like, the coming up uh, stories at 6 o'clock. Yeah. They showed Hillary coming in, and you can hear Psycho Mark really clearly in the background yelling, show us your fun bags. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got to watch out for that. I, I'm, I'm on the road right now, but uh, ho hopefully they'll show it again tonight, and maybe you'll catch it on the other channels, too. All right, cool. Thank you. I'd like to, uh, can I just say a shout out to my uh, cousin Ash Man? You just did, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Show us your fun bags. If you hear that <laughs> on the news tonight in the background, that was uh, Psycho Mark. <laughs> God darn. Oh, they're getting the audio from uh, earlier on the show, Ant, so we can replay it before we get out of here at 7. Oh, good. We got to replay because I, I got to hear what we, we were screaming because we were laughing so freaking hard. I know. I got to hear a piece of that. Oh, man. We're going to play the Hillary and Chelsea thing in a second here, too. Yeah. Juvenile humor at its best. Oh, we've gotten plenty of requests for it. <laughs> what is the instant feedback saying? Uh, people seem to have uh, really liked it. Uh, I just hope uh, I just hope management liked it, Anthony. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh yeah. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll right. see what happens. We're one big happy family. Come on. Uh, John, what's up? Yeah. When he when when is the Van Halen coming on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> automatic shuttle. Yes, the automatic the button upstairs. <laughs> you guys uh -huh. are pushing the limits today. You're great. Yeah. Just when we thought it wouldn't get better today, that we just took it over the top. <laughs> All right, John. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, a lot of people are a little paranoid now. John, what's up? Uh, hey, what's up, Bobby Anthony? Big uh, fan. Cool. Bronco Bash member. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you remember that? Of course yeah. we do. Yeah. Down well, there in Minaki. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys because I think this is it. Oh, don't say that. Come uh, on, I, I don't want to say it, but, man, the first lady and all that. Well, we didn't, Good luck, guys. we didn't mess with her, really. Psycho Mark yeah. had a bullhorn, and when she arrived at the Letterman Studios, you could hear clear as day, Psycho Mark yelling, show us your fun bags. Yeah, but they're always, they're always looking for a way to screw you guys. I think we're going to... That's true. Uh, we just... Uh, I don't even know what to say. We cannot stay out of trouble. Well, at least I got my Bronco Bash shirt signed by two guys I used to know from New York. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Don't say oh. that. Hey, guys. Good luck, man. All right. Bye. Good radio. All right. Bye-bye. I just hope the upper upper people thought it was good radio, Anthony. Maybe they're very busy. And we really did look for the other news uh, stations. They just yeah. weren't around. No, that was the first live shot. We were in place, and we uh, we went. We really were trying to look for the Fox News and, and the other ones, but they just weren't there. So once again, we picked on our own team. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm getting nervous. I really am. All right, let's play the, the Hillary and Chelsea bit. Yeah, it's a favorite. It's juvenile humor, though, at its best. Hey, why not? Uh, it's in perfect with today's show. Yeah, Hillary and Chelsea took a trip to Africa. Yeah, can't confirm this, but uh, I believe we have some audio from their trip, right, Ant? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course we do. All right, let's go to the tape. <laughs> Now, now, Chelsea, why would you say that? Because the chief said he'd give anything to eat me. Mm, he sounds a lot like your father. Your mother, Hillary, is very respected here. She has the one quality that is most coveted in our village. What's that? Wisdom? Compassion? No, a fat white ass. Oh, well. Your African name, Chelsea, is Kiala Abalafu. That's beautiful. What does it mean? Lanky, pale girl with face of a wombat. Oh. Hey, Mom, Big Bingo wants me to go into the forest with him. I think he's going to let me have one of his pets. Why do you think that, Chelsea? Because he said he's going to give me his 12-inch baby black snake. Oh, it's beautiful out here, Man Bingo. By the way, what does your name mean? It means man with three legs. But you only have two legs. Oh, really? Wow! Chelsea, when we are through tonight, the whole village will call you Iwachalakanaya. Me? What does it mean? That means she who cannot sit for weeks. Ooh! Now grab your ankles, Chelsea, and I will demonstrate what your father does to your countrymen. All right, <laughs> there's some audio in. Jesus, man. That's just wrong. 
<laughs> Look, they're still in the jungle. I know. There, well, there's <laughs> there's a part two. Of course there is. There were so many unanswered questions in part one. Right. It's like the Godfather and the Godfather two. More audio from uh, Hillary and Chelsea visiting Africa. Aunt. Oh, Mandingo! It's so big! I need two hands to hold it! Oh, that's it, Chelsea. Now wrap your lips around it. Rob, like that? Yes, that's it. Now blow, Chelsea, blow. <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Oh, be patient, Chelsea, and blow harder. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> wow, thanks for showing me how to use your blow gun, man, Bingo. Anytime, Chelsea. We best go back to the village and find your mother. <laughs> I said before the day ends, I want to be deep in the bush. Well, you do what you want. I'm going to help Mandingo take care of a bad animal. What are you talking about, Chelsea? He wants me to spank his monkey. Well, just be back in time for dinner. Okay. Well, what are we having? I don't know about you, but I'll be having the African beaver. WNEW. 1027 WNEW. It's the OB and Anthony show for now, anyway. <laughs> We're trying to get the audio. We got to play the audio one last time before we get out of here. Yeah. Because I know we'll be told never to play it again. <clears throat> I'm sure. Uh, let's go to the phones real fast. We're about to play. Uh, what did we learn on the OB and Anthony show as well today? Uh, Celeste, what's up? Hey. Hey. Um, I was watching Channel 4. And J.D. Dapper came on and was talking about Hillary Clinton and her move to New York. And they cut to her coming out of her car at the David Letterman show. And all you hear in the background is Mark saying, show me your... And they cut back to the newsroom. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they cut off fun bags? Right. (laughs) I guess you can't say fun bags. On Psycho Mark asked the first lady to show him her fun bags. (laughs) Jesus, man. Uh, so I was just cracking up because <laughs> uh, I'm trying to watch it on Channel 2 and yeah. see if it comes on any other um, station. All right, Celeste. So, Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, bye. bye. I think we're all set with the audio. Cool. Uh, Mike? Yo. What's up? Let me tell you, O&A, yeah. you guys need a new job. Yeah. You better start. Look, I got something for you. Wow. I'm going to make sure you guys are the best employed truck drivers in the county. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right? <laughs> you guys are out of your mind. The thing in Africa? Forget <laughs> about it. What, do you don't think they got the secret service? They're coming <laughs> after you. Yeah, we're going to have to leave, like, the back way today. I think so. I'm telling you, you guys are nuts. Thank you, Mike. The airport's mild compared to that. How <laughs> dare you say that about the first lady? All right, Mike. Oh, thank You're you. You're going to be a truck driver. Hang out with me, buddy. All right, man. Hey, All right. Thank you. You guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hang up on you. Taylor, Taylor, what's up? Papo. Taylor. Hey. hey, guys. Yeah. Hey. Dude, you guys just put the nail on the coffin. If you guys didn't get in trouble for the... For the wow sign, that last uh, Chelsea bit was <laughs> out of control. Out what? Of I thought control. we were all having fun. Yeah, what happened? Hey, that, that really was their trip, right? And we're we're yeah. not really sure, but we think so, yeah. We think so? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys rock. All right, Taylor. Later, bro. <laughs> People love that bit. I think it's so juvenile. Uh, that's why it's funny. Come on. Chris, what's up? What are you now, hey, Mr. Uh, oh. CBS FM? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's up, no, Chris? I actually, t- I actually listen to the other station, 1010 10 Winds, because uh, in my office I got an FM radio, but I only got an AM in my car. Yeah. Don't ask. But I missed that whole thing. I can leave my office. We'll tell you a while sign. <laughs> yeah. I missed that whole thing, and that's what I get for leaving my office early. I could have dealt with my boss and listened to the whole thing. But now I missed it. All right. Well, All right, man, but keep rocking, dude. All right. All right. Well, let's play it now. What the hell? <laughs> One last time before we throw it into the ONA archives, yeah. Anthony. Oh, boy. Um, this is a tape. It's not going on as we speak, but uh, earlier, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton... Showing up at uh, David Letterman's studio, we had Psycho Mark out there just causing all sorts of havoc. Yeah, a little bit of trouble. And uh, and then we told him to find, like, you know, a news station, because he, he brought with him a huge, I mean, huge wow sign. <laughs> that obviously means Whip Him Out Wednesday. Yeah. And Psycho Mark found the Channel 2 news crew. <laughs> oh, Channel 2 news crew. We yeah. work for the same company.
company, All idiot. Right. <laughs> Don't say that too much. So let's pick up the tape from about an hour ago. Psycho Mark outside the David Letterman studio as we're trying to get our big wow sign on any TV station. It just happened to be the same one we were for. <laughs> oh. oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Uh, coming up, they said they're doing the Hillary piece. Oh, they get a little tease. The, uh, is the reporter right near you? Yeah, the reporter. I am standing right behind her, dude. All right, don't don't let him on to you quite yet. I mean, look at yeah. him. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of too late. Why? It's, uh, she sort of spotted me. Yeah, but they, have, the they still have to go on. They have live. to go on, man. Says, wow. Who's asking you about your sign? Oh, the reporter. Oh, damn it. <laughs> don't worry about it. You have balls. I do. I have huge. Just tell, her, tell her it means wow because you're happy to be here. She doesn't know what it means. <laughs> Flip it over and, and have it say uh, Hillary, mom. Hillary mom. is a C. <laughs> Hillary said, no way. You guys don't have to dump me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say hi to my mother? I want to say hi to mom. There you go. All right. You want to see if the uh, reporter will wow us? Uh, no, they're 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 going to go to her any second. Any now. second, right. man. Yeah, yeah any second. We're side of the side. We're going to hold it up high. Yeah, we got to keep you on the line here. We got to talk to Anthony on line seven. His friends in jail for threatening our Hillary. Off, really? <laughs> what's what's the problem? All right, I think they're ready to go. Oh, hold yeah. that up high, Leah. <laughs> Right, right, almost ready. We, go. we got to synchronize. Right, date, date with Dave, with Stephen Dave. Clark, Channel 2 News. Come on, Mark. This is like interactive TV. Come on. This is good. You get to screw with the TV and watch it at the same time. Right. Right. joystick. You can move Mark around. <laughs> this is what the future is like. There he is. There he is. Yeah. The huge yeah. Yeah. Move over. Move, move over. over. Oh. Move over. Oh. Move over. Oh. What happened, Mark? What happened, Mark? Some CBS guy just jumped in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you looked like a star raving lunatic. <gasps> that was classic, man. Dude, it was hilarious. They were like, move over, move over. He goes right over. Dude, are they going to go back to you? Dude, the guy from the truck came over and ripped my side out of my head. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, they Oh, you're a friggin' lunatic, that man. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> Back. They gotta go back. What They're it? going back. What are you gonna do when they come back? You got the uh, bullhorn, right? Oh, you got the bullhorn. Bullhorn. Say, uh, yeah, because the guy's about to punch my cheek out. And we work for the same. Company. Come on, we work for the same company. <laughs> <laughs> they ought to know this is a cross uh, promotion. Oh, he is so mad. <laughs> you were like screaming. It was hysterical. <laughs> Dude, you're a pisser. <laughs> it was hilarious. I, I mean, we gotta explain this for the for everyone stuck in their car. <laughs> it's like interactive TV. We got Channel 2 News on. They go live outside Letterman Studio. There's Mark with the hugest wow sign you'll ever see. But all you see on TV is like half the O and, and the second W. So we're like, move over, move over. Oh, here he is. Where are you, Mark? Where are you, Mark? They're back to you. I got some reinforcements, at least. Uh, get, right. behind, get behind her. Get behind her. Get back live. Are you back on? Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's the wild side again. Chance, whip him out. Higher. Chance, whip him out. Whip him out. <laughs> Move to the move to the side, move to the side, real fast. Move to the side. Move over, move over. God damn, is that the funniest thing? Hold on a second, Mark. Hold on, hold on a sec, Mark. Butchie's in the studio from the radio. I'm listening to you guys, but I'm listening to the TV at the same time. So she's standing there, and Anthony says, "Say whip them out." So they're yelling, "Whip them out!" She's trying to do the rest of the report. So as she's closing the report, she looks back and she says, as you can hear, it's getting loud out here. We're calling the police. Uh, they can't call the police. Uh, hey, Mark. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Bravo, Mark. Right. Now that's interactive television right there. <laughs> You're just going to do it. It's not for, she's not very happy. Oh, uh, come on. Who's not happy? Famous.
Marsha Kramer, she's very mad at me. You tell her go to uh, no, are you doing our boss. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm hanging out. The see, the thing is, you should be allowed to do your job. I should be allowed to do mine. <laughs> oh, we're giving all pets. Come on. I, I, I That's his job. He is doing his job. That's his job. No, it was, it was fine. I have another live shot to do. Either you let me do it in peace or I'm going to call the police. All right. That sounds good. Oh, come on. You can't threaten the cops. That was fun. I thought the cops are here. We're friends with Hey, Mark. Okay, what's up? Mark, I, I hear a dare. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's daring you. All right, I'll go bother Fox. Uh, I'll go bother Fox. All right, there's CBS over there, too? Yeah, why don't you bother them? Oh, there's CBS as well? Yeah, why don't you? All right, I'm going to bother them. All right. <laughs> tell, her, tell her she got a ton of free advertising right you there. You guys got so much free advertising. That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, she is mad. She is not yeah, happy. Yeah, I bet. All what, right. a, what a face on her. All right. All right. Mark, hold on the line, all right? Yeah. Talk to him. Make sure nothing's going on. There's so many people that saw it on TV. <laughs> uh, Paula, what's going on? I just saw that damn stuff just now, and my God. She actually said to Marsha Clark, oh, wow, we're neighbors. Oh, wow. I borrow a cup of sugar. No, Hillary, why don't you give your hubby a hummer? You have heard of those, have you? Oh, boy. Woo. Okay. She's a lunatic. Uh, James, you're next on the program. What's up? I'm so pissed at you guys. I'm driving in my car, and I cannot see this. You better put it on your website. You have to put your website. <laughs> oh, it's hysterical. Yeah, hopefully someone's got a copy of that. We didn't think it was going to happen today. So. Oh, my God. I hope they show it on the news or something. That's the highlight. Forget Hillary. All right. That is the highlight. All right, James. Thank you. See, some guy on the instant feedback said the, the delay really screws with you when you're watching at home because it's a 40-second delay from when we're talking to what right. they're watching yeah. on TV. Yeah. So we're saying move over, move over. And it's already over. And right. Yeah. Oh, it was complete interactivity. <laughs> you know, you, you got to link up our audio with that video for the website. <laughs> yeah, really. You know, like an interactive TV. We're not waiting. We'll make it ourselves. <laughs> Andrew, yeah. what's up? Guys, I'm watching on TV and I'm listening to the radio at the same time. What the last guy said is totally true. It's the funniest damn thing because I hear... I see Mark making a total ass out of something. His tongue hanging out of his mouth. And you guys are like, all right, they're going to cut you real soon. Then they cut away and go to the interview, and I hear you guys scream, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> Funniest damn thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Oh, God that's Thank funny. you, Andrew. All right, thanks a lot. All right, well, there you go. That's from an hour ago, Anthony. Jesus. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh. Uh, I uh, hope people in our company can take a joke at. Oh, I'm sure I'll be. Oh, I'm yeah. sure they can. All right, listen, uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to play uh, a quick round of What Did We Learn on the Opie and Anthony Show today. Stay there. The Opie and Anthony Show. Grown men jumping all over each other. <laughs> okay, terrific. 1027 WNEW. 1027 WNEW, it's Opie and Anthony. What a show, what a show today. Wow. I don't think anyone turned off their radio. Oh, no. From 2 o'clock on today. Huge. Just an absolute huge radio show. And if, and if it's our last... Oh, don't say that, please. <laughs> Last time I heard that, it was. So please, <laughs> right, okay. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta be upbeat here. What a way to go out, though, huh? Ed? Oh, I don't want to go over the job searching again. The, the interviews, the flights all over the hell's creation. Come on. <laughs> no. All right, let's play a quick round of uh, what did we learn on the Opie and Anthony show today, and we'll uh, we'll get the hell out of here. Hopefully. All right. Hey, Chris. Chris, you're first. What did you learn on the show today? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. I learned that Psycho Mark's got the biggest pair of balls this side of freaking Manhattan. Baby. Yes. yes. Bravo. Hey, hey. Absolutely. All right. Oh, peace and peace. I got to go to work. Peace. All right, man. Uh, Matt, you're next. What did you learn on the show today? Hey, Matt. Hey, guys. What's going on? What's up? I learned that... Uh, Interactive TV is a lot better than uh, uh, nigger trolley movies. <laughs> Jesus. You know? All right, Matt. Thank you. See you later. All right, bye. bye. Uh, Vanjie, you're next. What did you learn on the show Hi, today? how you doing? Guys, if they would give out Oscars for radio shows, you would win, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, you guys are just too much. You are so on the money. I mean, I missed it. You know, I just heard the last part, and I, won I didn't see the television part. 
It was. It was. It didn't matter what part you saw. If you were just home and you're an Opie and Anthony show and you just happened to be watching news, you didn't have the radio show on. It's funny that way. Oh, yeah. no, if you're just, just watching to the and listening to the radio show in your car, it's funny that way. But if you were fortunate enough to have the radio and the TV on at the same time, <laughs> multi forget about it. Oh God! All right, Vanjie. I'm so sorry. I missed it. I'm uh, watching news tonight, though. All right. Cool. Happy New Year to you guys. You too. Bye. Yes. All right. Joey, you're next. What did you learn on the show today? Hello. Yeah, you're next, Joey. Let's go. What's up? I learned to stay away from 98-pound brown-eyed girls with eating fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to the beginning of the show. They, uh, great show, guys. If it's your last one, you went out with a bang. All right. I love you. Oh, thank you, Joey. Take it easy, buddies. Yeah, please don't say that. we we got to stay uh, positive here. Christian, what's up? Go on, boys. All right, what did you learn on the show today? I learned that history always repeats itself. Uh -huh. Boston and New York. Oh, don't oh, say God. that. Oh, man. Don't say that. <laughs> You're just trying to entertain. Strippers. Huh? And bullet wounds should not affect strippers. All right, very good. All right, you guys suck. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even say that. Joe, what's up? Yeah, hey, what's up, man, guys? All right. Um, I learned today that starting tomorrow, the Opie and Anthony show is going to be replaced with the Black Earl and Nigger Charlie show. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Come on, now. I got words for you. Send Steve the video. All right, thank you. Hey, hey, hey I'm his brother. You guys suck. <laughs> okay. right. Oh, boy. Mike, what did you learn on the show today? Oh, yeah, you're a great show, guys. Laughing our tails off today. We couldn't get any work done. Oh, cool. But, uh... Learned that Marcia Kramer has no sense of humor and she must really think she's so freaking important. All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Paul, you're next. Hello. Hey, fellas, congratulations on becoming the kings of all media. Yeah, all right. I want to, uh, yeah, I just sure. want to say that yeah, I, yeah. uh, I basically learned, uh, to find a woman that refuses to cook. So you, don't, so you don't have to spend $700 on seven pots. That's right. All right, very good. Take it easy, fellas. All right. Chris, you're next. Me? Yeah. Yo, how you doing? All right. Hey. Guys, awesome show today. Thanks. Listen, I learned that the George Foreman grill is a good wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Eddie. Yeah. What did you learn on the show today? I learned that, Opie, you better have a real big house to house Anthony and Rick and his wife now. <laughs> <laughs> and I also learned that maybe you guys are going to get nationwide coverage if they show that clip on all the affiliates that they have. Uh, I don't think they will. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. All right, bye. bye. Oh, oh no! Now I'm getting a little. Oh no! I'm getting a little nervous. I here, need okay. a. I need a beer. Uh Wayne. How you doing? I don't think you guys are going anywhere. I think your radio show will be here for good. Oh, cool. I hope so. But I wanted to say that I learned if you're a stripper, you better, you know, be nice to your boyfriends. You might get shot in the ass. <laughs> Very good. We did learn that today. Yep. All right. Take care. Hey, did uh, Ant and I say that we love CBS? Yes. Welcome home. Welcome home, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we, yes. We love CBS. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in David Letterman tonight for the Hillary Clinton interview. Yes. Everybody in town talking about it. What a coup that was. What a coup. For uh, Dave. You know, Jay didn't get that over there on that crappy NBC network. Yeah, we're not big NBC fans whatsoever. CBS. And if anyone, any bigwigs are listening, we don't like Q104. We don't like PLJ. We don't like Z100. No. We, we want to we wanna stay right here. Right now, tune in to Kane on K Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Ted, what's up? Yo, don't be in agony. Yeah. I call you guys don't be in agony because you're going to lose your jobs over a rack that nobody wants to see in the first place. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you better not. I'm just kidding, man. I love you guys. All right, man. Be good. Bye. Oh. Vic, you're next. What's up? Hey, Vic. Yeah, I missed the whole show today. Well, oh, boy. We we keep telling you guys, you know, some days it's kind of boring and a little slow, but you can't turn off this radio show. You don't know what you're going to miss. You never know. Yeah. All hey, right. guys, listen, can I come down there and punch Spaz right in the mouth? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, when can I come down there? Tomorrow. All right, thanks a lot. Bye. You know Bye. what the show's like? You remember um, Jenny Cam on the web? Yeah. Where you tune it in, and usually it was a picture of Jenny's empty bed or some clothing, a pile of clothing on the floor. Sure. Or something, or a fleeting glimpse of a hand passing by the camera. Oh, yeah. And then, every so often, there was Jenny, spread eagle, naked on the bed. <laughs> That's our show. That's it. You never know Some, when it's going to be spread eagle on the Sometimes bed. you got to sit through a pile of laundry to get to the nudity. <laughs> uh, Chris. Uh, great show today. I learned that um, today is your final show in New York. Oh, stop and it. Good luck to you. 
And find a new job, all right, boy? All right. Take care. Thanks. You guys, that's not even a joke because we've been through this uh, It's You know, if we hadn't it's been through it, I'd funny. be joking. But uh, we've been through it. It sucks, and I don't want to deal with we it We did again. this exact same thing where we had an outrageous stunt, and everyone's calling up going, well, well, that was a great last show, guys. Thanks. Just want to, <laughs> yeah. just, just uh, you know, wish you luck in whatever you do next. And we're all laughing like, shut up. We're yeah. going to get fired with the number one show in Boston. <laughs> It was our last show, so it that's happens. why we're not even laughing at it today. Oh. Jay, what's up? I want to be uh, the last one to say you guys suck. All right. Oh, come on. And I just want to let you know that you guys need to be touched by an angel if you want to stay on the air. All right, man. Thank Later. you, Jay. We'll finish with Old Dirty. Old Dirty. Bravo. Bravo. You, you guys <laughs> spilled my 40, bro. You spilled your 40 over there? I spilled on channel 2, kid. Perfect freaking timing, my man. I know. Oh. My hat's off to you, my brother. Great. Oh, my goodness. We'll be hanging out with you. <laughs> we'll, be, you know, we'll be laughing with you in no time. Be, yeah, right. You're going to start laughing, right? Yeah, listen to me. I got to go to me. Listen. Yeah. You know what I learned today? Uh -huh. That the next house I want, I got to steal some pots. <laughs> <laughs> That's all where all the money goes. I, oh, Dirty, I got to cut you off. We got to get out. No out problem, baby. We got to get out of here on time. So. All right, baby. All right. Peace. Peace. And with that... We'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, all right? Oh, uh, okay. It's going to be a long walk down that hall yeah, right now. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> you know what's at the end of the hall, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, do you guys have a moment? You got a minute? You want to come in here? Got a minute? Boy, they liked us for how long? A week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thanks for listening. Kind of like a car wreck on the highway. You're going to have to, you know, yeah. tune us in to see what the hell these idiots are doing next. Opie and Anthony. We refuse to be responsible. So don't screw yourself. We refuse to be responsible. WNEW. It is Opie and Anthony. Hello. How are you guys? Thanks for joining us. There you go. Um... We don't have a boss right now. We're bossless. Or do we officially? I don't know. You know, all I can say is within the last... We've been here, what, a year and a half? Yeah. Ant and I officially have seniority over everyone in this place. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Look at that. <We're laughs> oh, no, which means we're the next to go. I know. Wow, we have seniority? That, that was quick. We've been here longer than every single person now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like the friggin' Gambino family in this place. I swear to God. Yeah. I mean, NEW was the station where guys, like, died. You know, they stayed yeah. here until they died, until they dropped. Their careers were, what, like 40 years long, you yeah. know? Ah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your services are no longer needed here. Take the cannolis. Leave the gun. <laughs> wow. well, Paulie, you won't be seeing him no more. Well, mm. well, well, well. Yeah, this was a place where people died, and within a year and a half, we are now top uh, top dogs. We've been here the longer dogs. than anyone else. How about that? How'd that happen? So, are they speculating anywhere? What do you mean? Uh, the media? Anything? 
Can we talk about this? Are we allowed? I don't know what we could talk about anymore. Call upstairs. <laughs> Let's ask our old boss. <laughs> Get him on the phone. Get him on the phone, for God's sake. We're actually really sad today because the guy who brought yeah. us to New York, uh, a guy, believe it or not, we got along with, tragically uh, died in a car accident. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that, no. that old gang. He's doing all right, but... Uh, <laughs> But he uh, he will no longer be our boss. Yeah. Aw. So we're kind of sad today, to be honest with you. I did feel kind of bad. All kidding aside, because he was the guy who hired us. Boy, all the authority figures just dropping like flies around here. <laughs> what happened to Roger? <laughs> I don't know. It's been pretty pathetic. People used to come here and like th their careers would end when they 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 would die basically. Yeah, yeah. They, they wouldn't leave this place until they dropped dead, like a time capsule. Thirty, forty year careers at this place, and yeah. after a year and a half, just to show you the turmoil we've been through, we are we've been here longer than just about everyone now. Opie, Anthony, you two are the survivors. <laughs> oh man, wait a minute, we can do a whole. Hold on, man. We gotta do this right. <laughs> Where is my music? Hold on, Slay. Oh wait, I think my CD is stuck in my big camel toe. Hold on, Slay. Oh, look at this. It almost runs yeah. over. Almost runs him over. Look at this. <laughs> Where is my flute? Has his brain was not one of these survivors. Freaking idiot! Like he panics. He's got to find the Titanic CD, right? And there's that whole shopping cart filled with all our bits and CDs. Look how messy it is. So he pulls the two CDs off the top so he can start shuffling through to look for him. There it is. It was the one he uh, threw to the side. Spaz's brain was damaged more than the mighty Titanic on her maiden voyage. <laughs> it is as if a giant iceberg struck his head and dented his brain. Is this it? Well, I thought we'd do a different version, no? Oh, no, you got to have the real Celine song when right. everyone knows. All right, Celine, you're going to dedicate this to uh, Opie and Anthony for outlasting everyone around here? <laughs> this song goes out to those that sailed on that ship, that plague-ridden ship that was WNEW. <laughs> you all know the people that did not make it. The Pat St. John's. The Scott Souls and the Carol Millers, <laughs> all of them that perished in the wreck that was WNEW. <laughs> many have passed through her, but there have not been many that still remain, <laughs> except for two. Two that cling on like cockroaches. They cannot be killed by ordinary means. They outlasted people that we thought would be there forever. The ill-fated station that was WNEW. And those that live on within her walls. Opie and Anthony. The only two survivors. <laughs> This goes out to you two brave or stupid individuals that remain at your mics, at your posts, broadcasting to those who want to listen. Those that used to be here, the Dave Hermans, they are gone. Remember the Gary Walls. Wasn't he at the helm when the ship struck the iceberg? I believe he was. And now the latest victim, Scott Herman, the lovable curmudgeon. Can he be considered a curmudgeon? We will miss him, but we must go on. Remember Roger, the promotions guy? <laughs> Remember his promotion ship hit a giant pop heart and sank on his first day at sea at here at WNEW. He is gone. Steve and Sue are gone. Oh, wait, no, they're uh, not yet. You cannot consider them survivors. They've gone under and we no longer see.
see bubbles coming up. Uh, Celine, that's a coming attraction. <laughs> but two brave souls move on, clinging to the wreckage. Opie and Anthony are truly survivors. <laughs> Who have been under the murky waters of the North Atlantic for months now. They're turning blue. <laughs> Remember Marty, Dennis Elsis, and Pete Fornatel? <laughs> and look, look at the lunatic who's locked himself into the engine room, Vin Skelson. We'll get him too. <laughs> Jim Moynihan, <laughs> those that have perished, Richard Neer, remember, all of them gone. <laughs> Dano, remember Dano, <laughs> gone, but who, who live on in the, the tattered hulk of a station that was NEW and is now FM Talk at 1027, it chugs on. They keep their heads above waters to remain survivors. <laughs> Remember Ken Dasha and Ralph Tatora. Oh my God, were there a thousand people on this ship too? These are all guys that were here while we were here. There weren't enough lifeboats to sustain life. Let's not forget all the, the records. <laughs> the largest rock and roll library. Remember Lisa Garvey. Oh, my God. Gone. Don't forget Joe Taggart. Joe Taggart. We can keep going. For one week, he was on the decks of this mighty ship. <laughs> Boy, that was one of Gary Wall. I think Gary Wall threw him overboard. <laughs> and then he was at the, the helm. Remember Carrie at the helm? Oh my god, the mighty ship hit many icebergs, and these two asswipes remain on her decks. Bye bye, Scott Herman. We will miss you, Opie and Anthony, the two survivors. <laughs> I can't even believe these morons. He's a disgusting little man. And Anthony. What a douchebag. Train wreck radio. Stand over. This is sicker than faces of death. 127 WNEW. You didn't really think we got fired today, did ya? No. Uh, did ya? Of course not. They know which side of the bread their butter is buttered on. What? It's the Opie and Anthony Show. We are here. We are live. It's Thursday, January 13th, 2000. Hey, a lot of people thought we got fired, and that's why uh, it took so so long to get on the radio today, Anthony. No, no, no. No, no, no. A couple no, of no. little uh, very important things we were up to. I was um, watching Hillary, the videotape of Hillary on Letterman, that non-event. Yeah. And then, uh, ooh, how to play some half life. <laughs> about it, right? I think that's it. We were, Very important. We were taking our time getting in the studio today and also in the, the phone rings at my desk. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I pick it up and the guy goes, hey, where's Opie and Anthony today? I'm like, well, we're right here. I, I'm talking to you and Anthony playing half life. Aren't you guys supposed to be on the air right now? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and right after I, I I stop talking to you, I'm gonna walk down the hall and we'll start our show. <laughs> oh, all right, man. I thought you got fired after yesterday's show. That oh, was just, no. you know, that was the best show you guys have ever done, don't you? Yeah, they like that one, huh? And so far, uh, everyone's keeping quiet about the little uh, CBS thing, Anthony. Uh, yeah, so far, I I check my messages uh, on my cell phone. I got about five times this morning. Uh -huh. I was totally expecting you to be gone. And, uh, gotta come in early. We got a meeting. No, I, I stayed away from phones. Yeah. Since, uh, yesterday's show, I didn't want to get that call. Yeah. You know, the call. The call. We've had the call in the past. <laughs> and to everyone listening from the New York Radio Message Board, 
Go F yourselves. Oh, again. They're trying to tell us how to do our show. Don't, will, won't they ever learn? Yeah, it's just no. a matter of time before they get fired, just like they did in Boston. You can't screw with your own company. We didn't go out of our way to screw with our own company yesterday. It just Madison. happened to be the only TV station that we could mess with. Doing some fun radio. Down at the Letterman studio. That's it. <sighs> they don't get it. They'd rather, you know, what, what are we supposed to do? Get on and uh, pull a, a Penn Darvis for uh, five hours? Do some rock blocks? Talk about some giveaways. <laughs> you know, I mean, Jesus Christ. We, we have to uh, shake it up a little bit. And then whenever we do, they get on and go, see, they're out of control. Well, yeah, we're out of control. We want to be out of control. They're like, they're, they, they, they just want us to calm down. Yeah. No one's going to listen to us if we calm down. No. Personal message to Alan Sniffen, who runs the New York Radio Message Board. Type this. Opie and Anthony, don't give a F. Right. And it's that the sums internet, up. So you could type in uh, all the letters to the F. Right. That sums up our radio show. Figure it out. We yeah. don't care. Yeah, we just made a verbal posting. We were on top of the world in Boston when we got fired. We don't care. We know what we're doing. We're taking chances. We're mixing things up. We're getting people to talk about this radio show. And what happens, happens. If we get fired again, oh, well. Oh, well. Off to another metropolitan area. But trust me, we're not that stupid. We know what we're doing. This is how we do radio. We take it to the limit. Have a little fun. My God. No one else in this town is brave enough to take it to the limit, so we're going to do it. And and if if it means getting fired again, oh, well, go Alan. Drill, go drill some teeth. Go drill some teeth is right. Down. Now they're all writing. I mean, they should change the New York Radio Message Board to the Opie and Anthony Board. I wonder if he's ever come upon a situation where, like, there was a, maybe he should have done a root canal, but he figured he's going to just go crazy and fill the tooth instead of uh, having a root canal done. <laughs> Just, I'll fill it and I'll see what happens because I'm a madman. Right. I wonder if people criticize him. Dude, you're out of control. You're gonna, you're, you're like a crazy person with that filling. Yeah. You know you should have done a root canal. <laughs> Mr. Dentist. And you made a big statement today. Uh, Opie and Anthony will get fired from New York just like they did in Boston. Will these two ever learn? F you. If we get fired, oh well. I'm going to go to dental school so I can run a radio message board <laughs> <laughs> and still be in the business. Oh, God. Mm. Well, the phones are going nuts, obviously. Yeah. Uh, saw CBS tel television exec in the WNEW building. Oh. Everyone talking about yesterday's uh, little thing. We got We got a great little promo about yesterday's show. That Jimmy from uh, the production department and, and Psycho Mark actually helped him out. Yes. Uh, they put that together. So I guess we got to take a quick oh. break, Anthony. Oh, quickly before we go to break. You ever you ever drive your piece of crap car and uh, maybe it breaks down and someone lends you a really good car and you drive it around and you never want to go back to your piece of crap again? Uh, what are you getting at? I left my laptop at home. Right. Oh, my God. Scott Colombo just hooked me up with this one. Dude, this is the dream come true. Look at, the, look at this thing. Adele. Oh, my God. The, look at the size of this. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at you styling today, Anthony. That's not. Now i got to go back to my piece of crap. Tomorrow. I might have to make off with this thing. <laughs> All right, so we have lots to do. Let's take a quick break. We're going to play the Psycho Mark CBS uh, montage thing we put together. And we're going to go to the phones next. Everyone on hold, stay right where you are. And if you want to, give us a call. 212-757-1027. Opie and Anthony. How often do you get to listen to somebody's cell phone through somebody's uterus? More stupidity on the way. 1027 WNEW. And if you got something for the show, 212 757 1027. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, a lot of people uh, patiently waiting on hold to talk to us, Ant. Yes, look at that. Let's start with Mike. Mike, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Arnie? All right. 
you guys had me sweat when I heard that Celine Dion Survivor thing played again. <laughs> I almost thought you guys didn't survive. Yesterday was some of the best radio I ever heard. Survivor. Survivor. We are truly still survivors. So far, we're survivors. I almost pissed my pants for a half an hour yesterday. Uh, we appreciate it. That's all uh, anyone's talking about around here today. What, I want to know what you guys are going to do today to top it, though. See, that's the problem with the OP and Anthony show. <laughs> uh, now we'll, uh, we'll coast and the show will suck. Yeah, we'll coast all day today. We'll live off uh, yesterday's festivities. And yeah. No, I don't know. That's 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 the problem with our show, though. We're we're always trying to top the last one. Yeah. And even, if the show, even if the show coast, I don't think you guys will suck. You guys, you guys are gonna rock on, man. All right, bro. Hey, I got a question for you. Is that a train? Yeah. There you go. No, you're doing all right. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, Mike. Whoa. Hey, Nick. What's up? Hey, how you doing? All right. Hey. Like your show. Hey, Listen, thank you. I, uh, yeah. You guys need a um, you guys need a theme song for your show. Oh, yeah? As you start your show, and I have the perfect one. What is if it? The Rolling Stones, the name of the song was Out of Control. Out of Control. If, you, if you listen to the lyrics, it has reference to the, the homeless knows his name. Uh, they reference the girls and that he was drinking again. It's on the Bridges to Babylon oh. uh, disc. I've heard Play the song, listen to the lyrics, right. and it's got to be your theme song. We know the song. Be. Thank you, bro. Okay. All right, man. Bye. He was treading on dangerous ground. I there. saw you reaching for the button, Anthony. Yes. Miles, you're next on the Opie and Anthony Show. What's up? Oh, hey, what's going on? All right. I'm telling you, I turned on the radio a little too late, and I heard that Celine, but <laughs> Celine bit come on. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was making phone calls. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Did these guys get fired or something? <laughs> You guys really had me going out sweating bullets. <laughs> I called my buddy Jonathan, he's a faithful listener. Like, What's going on? You know, he tried calling the show. Yeah. He said he got a machine. I'm like, oh, man, something must have happened to these guys. Um, we're not going to lie. I think uh, uh, everyone's been very cool upstairs about this one. So, yeah, we haven't heard anything bad yet. Oh, yes, it was the greatest interactive TV I ever saw. It was uh, hilarious. It was funny television. I, I was watching it while, you know, with, with the delay, with the radio delay. Yeah. And I was watching everybody, you know, watching them jump up and down with that sign. And then they hear you guys, go to the left, go to the left. And I'm like, they are that past. They're off already. I know. <laughs> Next time we do something like that, we're going to have to just dump out of the, the, the delay so it syncs up better. Yeah, you, it will enjoy it better that way. Uh, yeah, that's what people were saying. We should have cursed a bunch of times before uh, <laughs> we did it so he would have had to dump out. By the way, we're looking for a tape of uh, yesterday's festivities. Uh, you guys going to put it on the website? We have a lot of fans at CBS TV. <laughs> Sneak one out, please. We need it. <laughs> we need it. Immediately. You we guys got to put it up on the website. Yeah, we will if we're allowed to. We want the yeah. raw feed. The, I, the one I, like that uh, is still rolling when uh, they cut back to the studio or to the, the video clip and you see her all pissed off. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I Miles. saw a video clip yesterday from the uh, ballpark. Oh, isn't that uh, the best? That was great stuff. Yeah, a great. couple having sex in, you know, in the ballpark. Uh, it's on the unofficial website. It's yeah, a it was, great clip. It's, oh, it's, it's a, unbelievable. Yeah. Make the kind of thing next time you go to the game, you know, uh, you're, watch out for those cameras. Yeah, you're going to look around, see what, <laughs> what everyone's up to in the upper deck. So That's right. All right, Miles. You got it. You guys suck. All right, thank you. All right. Bye. Uh, Paul, what's going on? Yeah, how you doing? I just wanted to let you know that yesterday's piece is the best piece in radio I've ever heard. Look oh, at that. Man. Everybody. I do have, I do have one last story for you. Yeah, hit it. I, I was driving on Route 18 about three months ago with my two boys in the car, and I had a wild sticker on the car. My two boys, seven and eight, turned around to me, and Dad, they said, Dad, look at that Jeep. Five girls in a Jeep wowed my two kids. Oh, really? Yep. So <laughs> now they're in school right now, and they're telling all their friends, and I've even heard of some parents, but they got wowed because they got a, what are those stickers from one of your sales, girls? Oh. I'm telling you, the wow in your car really, really works. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it works. I mean, we're not going to spend too much time on Whipping Out Wednesday until, like, April, but it's it's always going on out there. Oh, without a doubt. All right, Paul. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Keep it up. All right, Take bye. Care. Let's go to Jack. Jack, you're next on 1027 WNEW. How you doing, guys? All right. I got to say that that was some of the funniest radio I heard yesterday, and what I like about your show is that it's so damn unpredictable. You never know what you're uh, what you're going to hear from day to day, and I got to admit the Delta Airlines commercial you guys do, yeah, was very funny, and the nigga Charlie uh, <laughs> spoof you guys did earlier in the week was hilarious. That wasn't even a spoof; that was a real deal. <laughs> uh, any chance of getting the Delta Airlines commercial on today? Um, we'll do it sometime this hour. I just got to find it, or I would do it right now. All right, thanks a lot, guys. All right, man. I hope you guys uh, live long and prosper. All right, thank you, Jack. All right, bye. All right, bye. Uh, let's find the, the the Delta Homie commercial. Spaz knows where it is, Ben. John, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? All right. 
Listen, the biggest problem with what you guys did yesterday is how do you top that, which is what the other caller said earlier. Yeah. But you got to keep crossing the line, just like Anthony did with that bit on his mom, which got him in trouble with his dad, Sal. I didn't think you guys were going to be able to cross the line after that one. Yeah, that was... You keep finding your ways. Well, I, I think Mark's going to attack the uh, NBA, uh, NBA, the NBC Today Show next. Hey, we've been trying to do something with the the Today Show for over a year and a half, and I think we finally yeah. got our secret weapon in place and ready to go on that one. Like you guys said, don't worry about your bosses. Worry about us. Keep going, guys. Do good job. All Take right. it easy. Thank you, John. All right. Bye. Matt, you're next on WNEW. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? All right. Yeah, I just want to say yesterday's show was awesome, man. Yo, but let me ask you guys a question. When I watched the replay on 10 o'clock last night on Channel 2, they didn't show it, right? Of course they're not going to nah. show that. Why not? Because what it was, was a lot, it was a live stand-up shot for the oh. for the 5 o'clock news. Oh, so when they showed the replay, they must have edited it out then. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. No, that was an embarrassment for the TV station. They're not going to replay <laughs> that. Replay oh, it again. <laughs> One and right, done. These guys suck. All right, man. Thank you. Out. Bye. All right. Peter, you're next. What's going on? Peter. Yeah, hey. Hi. What's up, guys? All right. I uh, watched Channel 4 last night. It was like the 11 o'clock thing. And then just showing a short clip of uh, Hillary getting out of the car. Yeah. And you can hear Psycho Mark in the background on the bullhorn. You couldn't do exactly. Oh, look, jump at, out. look at you, Curse. You heard Psycho Mark at NBC, and it was effing uh, yeah. funny. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. You guys rule. Actually, because I guess Psycho Mark was closer to Hillary than we all realized. And when she got out of the limo for the Letterman show last night, Mark with the bull, uh, bullhorn yells, uh, Hillary, show us your fun bag. Show us your fun so, bag. So that sound bite was on every freaking station that was covering the, the Hillary uh, arrival to Letterman studio yesterday. Yeah, so last night when we were watching it uh, again on the news inside... Um, they always have a voiceover over her walking in. They didn't show the actual uh, sound. They didn't play the actual sound of her walking into the studio. Psycho Mark in the studio. What's up, bro? Dude, I didn't even use the bullhorn for that one. It was just me standing across the street, shrieking my lungs out. You got on every TV station with that sound clip. So well, That's what I intended to do. Very good. A little low and A for everybody. Today's show <laughs> next, bro. Today's show. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. We can't tell them when we're going to hit, but we're going to hit soon, right? I'm going to bring some sushi. All right, cool. Sushi for Al Roker. That's like such an obscure reference. No one even got it, man. That's right. All right. Psycho Mark. He's he's walking around today like he's a, a hero, though. He Look is. That. He's smiling. He's all happy with himself. He, he is a hero. All right, we found the Delta Homie uh, commercial that that other caller was talking about? Yeah. We'll play it real fast, and we'll go uh, right back to the phone, so stay there. Y'all be going on vacation? See, the thing is, if you about to be up out this bitch, check it. Deep Delta. We be flying all over this bitch. Let me ask you something. You fin to raise up and get your travel on? From the interior to the exterior, you've got to get your posterior in one of these big-ass planes. Dog, you lay in the cut straight sitting on your ass and getting your drink on and your snack on while we floss and fly this mofo all over this bitch. East coast, west coast, it don't matter. Nia, we'll get you to your hoe and back lickety splits. No sh Then you be back at your crib chilling with a flat spliff thinking we were some crazy ass angel. Hell, these fat, round, thick ass vessels run up in the sky so deep it beat crying. Yeah, you thought it was rain. So bring a towel, because at Delta, it's laid out like that. Call one of these fly-ass Delta coochies, and they call them punk-ass co-workers of yours. Catch the vapors as you be off and up out. You going? We fly you there. You been? We done already flew up in there. We got you covered like a jimmy hat. At Delta, we loves us some flying, and it be shown like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. We haven't played that in a while. Very good. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Pete, you're next on WNEW. What's up? Hey, fellas, how you guys doing? Good. What's up, man? Hey, first off, I was in the crowd yesterday when your boy Mark had that sign up, man. I was rolling. Oh, cool. I was about 15 feet away from the guy. I couldn't keep myself, you know, I couldn't keep myself together. Yeah. That, and the second off, yeah. hey, you guys are talking about that video about the guy in the bleachers? Yeah, that's been around a while. It's a total scam. I don't think so. The guy waves. It's like a fraternity skit. He waves to the camera at the end of it. Well, that's fine. What? It's still. Yeah, a... it, it wasn't like he was busted doing. He did it on purpose. I mean, it was a total. Uh... Pete, 
It doesn't matter. It's cool. There's a girl getting pounded at a baseball it's game. Cool. It's cool as hell. I just wanted to go on record, Mick. That Maybe the girl had no clue. We knew the whole time. It doesn't matter. It's still she pretty, had no clue. It's pretty cool to see a you know a, a, a couple having sex at a, a baseball game. She better uh, believe it. But I don't, I don't think it was during a game. I think it was totally at night, and it was like a bunch of frat boys just uh, taking care of business. I don't know. It's it's a it's a nice clip. All right, no okay, what. Listen, you guys are all right. All right, thank you, Pete. Later. Bye. Listen. Bobby! Hey, Oney, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, look, I was in the crowd, too, yesterday, and I was uh, laughing my ass off. That was the funniest bit. Oh, cool. I, tried, I was hoping to see it when I got home, but I didn't, but a friend of mine told me about it, and he saw me in the crowd. Oh, really? And uh, I kind of snuck around when Kramer uh, talked to uh, Mark. Yeah. See, you could have fried eggs off the top of her head. She was so pissed. Uh, and we have a little clip of her getting pissed off. Oh, uh, and she went around <laughs> to her crew, and I kind of inched around and tried to listen. I couldn't, but she was mad. She was telling them, if they come back, get the cops. She was, she was mad. The cops wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, I understand, but but she was so mad at at, at him. She she said, "Give me a clear area. I don't want to be near those guys." Right. And, ah. uh, I got to do this again, but you guys rocked. It was the best scene I've seen in a long time. I'm doing it was my fun. news. It was funny. Guys. Believe me, we were there. It was funny. Oh, uh, thank you, Bobby. Take care, guys. All right. We're just kind of doing a recap of yesterday. We're going to move on with other things today. Of course, lots of new things to talk about today, but. This is what's on everyone's mind right now. Uh, Bill, what's up? What's going on, Opie and Anthony? All right. I am a new listener now. That was the funniest damn thing I've ever that. heard in my freaking life. I liked it. And that, right? con and that convinced you to start listening oh, to the show? Word. Oh, All right. good. You, you guys are the best. The best of Howard is crap. You are Howard is No, 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 no. <laughs> What, man? We're, we're trying to get a truce going with Howard right oh, now. I, oh, all right, all right, man. Well, uh, let me just tell you. They sat me down and talked to me about that today. You are the best damn thing in the world, all right? All right, I, I, I got to go, all right, man? Peace. Thank you. <laughs> Eddie! Yeah. What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? Yo, I started listening to your show like a week ago. Yeah. I just wanted to say yesterday was the most hilarious thing I ever heard. Oh, uh, thanks. And we anybody... Before, before yeah. us a week ago. Huh? What were you listening to before you started listening to us a week ago? Uh, like Hot 97 and all of that garbage. And I used to listen, I, I watched Howard like a couple of times, but he's like garbage compared to you two. You guys kick ass, dude. All right, Eddie. Thank you. All right. Yo, how do I get on that website? Uh, foundrymusic.com. Uh, that's with, uh, the guy in the sex in the ballpark and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of good stuff on there. Foundry Music? Yep. Dot com? Yep. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, man. Later. Which is going to uh, reach a million hits sometime tomorrow, Anthony. A million hits. A, a million hits for our, an underground website for the radio show in less than seven months. That's pretty amazing. Jamie. Yo, congratulations on that million, million hits, man. Yeah. Yo, guys, man, last night I'm driving, right? I'm on a bus. Oh, my God. These people thought I was mental. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got the earplug in my ear, and I'm laughing my ass off. People's eyes are wide open. <laughs> like, what the hell is he going to do? What is this guy laughing at this saying? Yeah. Oh, my God. And today I had a couple of cops on the bus. Uh -huh. We started talking. Yeah. They said, oh, my God, we were rolling. Oh, cool. We were listening to that. So, oh, guys, great job. Any chance of posting that on the unofficial site? Uh, we're going to try. We're going to see if we can get away with it. Clearance, yeah. Oh, guys, you guys are great. Uh, thank you, James. All right, man. Kick ass. All right, bye. Bye. Do, 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 do. Cliff? Yo. You got some info on the baseball clip? Yeah, if you watch the end of it, yeah. the guy hands her some money, or he hands her something. No, it's her panties. Her panties that were on the floor next to him. Oh, uh, I thought on... that was the money. We thought she was a hoe or something. No, it, it's black panties, you can tell. All right. All right, Yo, just a guy and a girl. What's the last thing I started in here is before you close the can on him. What? <laughs> You fell for it. I know it was stupid. I know. <laughs> that was really bad. That was pretty lame. Uh, John, you're next on WNEW. What's up? Gentlemen, how you doing? Real hey. good. Happy New Year to you. Uh, God, I leave town for a couple of weeks, and what happens? <laughs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> Holy we, yeah. We've been on fire lately. I know. Um, real quick, um, any repercussions from the big boys? Did you have to have that meeting this morning? Honestly, they're, they've been uh, very quiet. Still in shock. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, probably. Sometimes when they're very quiet, it's not a good thing. I know, I know. Listen, I meant to uh, propose this toast when I saw you guys at Hooters, and let me do that now. All right. Um, a toast. A toast? Okay. Here's the folks like us. Mm -hmm. Damn few left. 
Is that it? Well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sorry about that. And, Anthony, I know I've been bugging you about the that picture that we took together. Right. You possibly give that to me. I sure appreciate it. All right, All right man. All right, John. Is that a train? Uh, no. <laughs> Joey. Yes, sir. What's up? How you doing, bud? Good. Listen, I saw a tape about a year ago, firemen in New York City. You know, they always seem to have these great tapes, porno flicks, you know. And there was a whole entire tape. That was done uh, supposedly by the cameramen that worked for the, each individual teams in every city in the country. And uh, these tape, this one particular tape, had all these um, uh, scenes where there was it was sex going on throughout the ballparks all over the country. And there's a whole tape of that stuff? Oh, absolutely. I would love to do that. that out. Well, a friend of mine got it from a guy in the city fire department, and they were passing it around. He said that uh, you know supposedly the cameramen that worked for the teams knew about this, and there was something where they would zone in on each section on every particular game and they would find this stuff out. Of course, because those cameras are oh, so yeah. freaking powerful and you go to the, like, the top of uh, the bleachers in Shea and you're assuming no one could really see what you're doing up there, but those cameras could zoom right the F in. Hell yeah. And they were picking everything up. And the funny thing was that they would they would show you that they were actually at the game while it was going on. In the background they'd have like a guy pitching the ball to the battery. Oh, you know, that's to, cool. To, to prove that it was an actual game. So the guy that called earlier said it was just a setup. Nah. Well, you, you could actually see it was, and it was an actual game going on while the time this was all happening. Yeah, I would like to check out the rest of the tape. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If I get a copy of it, a friend of mine had about a year ago. Right. But I'd, be, I'd be more than happy to send it to you guys. All right, Joe. But for all you listeners can see see the whole thing. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, guys. Take all right. care. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, Mary, you're next on WNEW. Yeah, um, I was down in uh, D.C. for um, New Year's Eve. Yeah. And um, it was, you know, kind of cold out. And during, towards the end of the show, they showed this Spielberg film, which was kind of like, you know, kind of brought the crowd down because there was no music or whatever. And this guy took off all his clothes. And he jumped into the reflecting pond and swam across the reflecting pond. And, and, like, everybody was, like, cheering and screaming. And everybody, like, up closer thought we were cheering and screaming for the Spielberg film. Yeah. And the guy got to the end. And then he jumped back in. And, like, everybody was, like, high-fiving over stuff. And he's, like, running around naked. And the next morning, we were watching on the Discovery Channel or whatever. I think it was some Discovery. Um, or a and &E, I don't know. But they were showing it. But it's on film because we were looking at the camera angles. And we're like, somebody has a copy of this guy swimming across the reflective film, uh, the reflective pool, just before midnight, naked as a jaybird. And we decided that, that they cold, probably man. wouldn't. What? That must have been cold. Oh, we were just, we were cracking up. The guy was insane. And then we were like, oh, you know, they'll never release this clip because, I mean, it's supposed oh, to be really please. tight security. And he never got arrested. That'll be on the Internet. uh Pronto. Yeah, I mean, it's out there because we were looking at the camera angles and right. the way they were showing the Spielberg film. And there was definitely, um, and, uh, a camera in that area, and most cameras work by working nonstop. Right. So somebody's got that out there, and it is absolutely hysterical. I mean, the crowd went crazy. There were no police. And this was supposed to be like super tight security, and this guy is just running around butt naked. It's just a matter of time before we all get to see that. Yeah, you got to try to get at that. It's absolutely hilarious because the they'll never release it because it'll reveal too much that they, they really lacked in security all or right. something. Mary, thank you. Thanks. Cool. I understood, this is, I understood the first four times you said that. She hypnotized me. Sean! Hey, Sean, you're a new listener, too? Yeah, I'm a new listener, man. I just got turned on to you guys about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? That's it, man. Where were you? Do you know what you have missed? <laughs> I'm telling you. I, you guys make me piss in my pants. Uh, sorry for saying that, though. <laughs> what were you listening to before us? Nothing. You just throw in a few CDs on the way home, you know, or yeah. or whatever. But I mean, the voices of the Mike and the Mad Dog are ah, cool, hilarious, cool. Hey, That's yeah. really cool, though. We appreciate it. Enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you, Sean. You guys. All right. All right, now let's try to move on to other things, okay? Of course. We can start with the Hillary interview on Letterman. What What did you think, everyone? What uh, did you think? What did you think of it? St that snooze fest. We'll, uh, we'll get into that next, okay? All right. But as we go to commercials, got to thank Jimmy from uh, the production department for putting together a little montage about yesterday's festivities with Psycho Mark, all right? All right. Check this out. We got Channel 2 News on. Got a megaphone or something to say. There's Mark. There's Mark causing trouble on CBS 2. With the hugest wow sign. Monster Kramer is a tight ass crew. This is like, you know, I can see big. I go, Ma. He's a freak. There he is. That's a huge wow sign. Move over. Move over. Move over. What happened, Mark? What happened, 
Lamar? From CBS guy, you're something very <laughs> you, look, you look like a soccer aiming lunatic. That was classic. You boy can't be doing that. What the hell you boy think you're interrupting our own news broadcast? For God's sake. You know we're going to get in trouble by the company again. Yeah, I know. Hey, come on. Chance, whip them out. Whip them out. <laughs> Watch your face. She's very mad at me. You tell her go to uh, now, are you doing our boss. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm hanging out. Here's the thing. If you should be allowed to do your job, I should be allowed to do my job. I almost pissed in my pants. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, Mark, I got one question for you. Yeah. How do you walk around with that set you got? <laughs> what do you like? Walk around like John Wayne, swaying like? Yeah. I just want to know, uh, guys, when is he farewell show? <laughs> that's why right. that's why you gotta listen every day. This could be it right here today. You never know. Obi, 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 Anthony. One, oh, two, seven, W N E W.